Hi, everyone. Hey, guys. Welcome to a, a podcast, podcast will, will save, save this, relationship. this relationship. I'm Josh E. Him. I'm Sarah She. Her. Sarah has to be, so we got to do this real quick. I do have to be. Uh... Uh, today on the episode, we talked about Bluey. Bluey. We talked about Star Kids, Star Kids Prophecy. Prophecy. We read Star Kids Prophecy. Yeah, and then we did listener Reddit stories Heck as yeah. per usual. And they were pretty good. We got yeah. an update that really dunked on us. Yeah, because we are assholes. Yeah, we are. Everyone's an asshole here. Everyone is an asshole. But it's okay. You it's can okay. grow. It's we all right. We can all grow. Yeah. Yeah. We gotta go pee real quick. We gotta, I'm I sick, to pee. Sorry, I need to stop. I need Josh to take more sick. We have to order a pizza. <laughs> A there's lot of a, shit. There's a lot of context in the next couple hours, All right, okay? There you go. All right. But yeah, uh, enjoy the podcast. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, hit the gotcha darn bell if you're on YouTube. Hit that dang bell. Uh, enjoy the show. Raise five stars on Spotify and Apple. Enjoy the show, baby. Bye. Bye. Ah uh, man, how you doing, Sarah? I am doing good. How are you doing, Josh? I'm doing. I'm doing fucking good. Yo, <sighs> I got good. a big one for you today. We got a guys. big one. Like the, I already. You, you can tell it's already gonna be uh, a good recording day when you decide halfway through your warm up. Oh, this could be good for Patreon, and then you decide and to hit record. And then you just start to hit. In almost an hour, you just keep going and bullying people. You know, <laughs> it's really good. It's really. It's gonna be a good day. Are you good? Sarah has a little surprise for us. Uh, I'm gonna spoil a little bit of it. I mean, it's probably not spoiled. But we probably say it right at the uh, the beginning. But she's scrolling through a fan fiction, and she's already, I guess, we're not doing my immortal. <laughs> Sorry, guys. You can read it. It's you it's can go everywhere. read it. My immortal was unbearable during that. I can't. I can't do more of that. We did it once. We're done. I know some of you guys were like, I can't wait to go on this journey. You went through it. The journey's done. Uh, instead, we're gonna do that fan fiction. I've not read. I've not. I've been. Multiple people have recommended we do this fan fiction. So we're gonna do it. We're, we're gonna, gonna do it. We don't. We're not gonna do it first. We're gonna talk about Bluey first. Yes. <laughs> so, because we're we're okay. So there's no Last of Us this week because no we're recording Sunday. Sunday. And it, we're we're like seven hours away from the new episode being released. I'm yeah. not gonna be able to watch it immediately because we're going to a fucking Willow concert this weekend. Yeah, we are. Which is gonna be fun. Yeah. So instead. I was like, hey, what's also culturally, as culturally significant as The Last of Us? Josh never said that. And then Sarah was like, oh, Bluey, of course. And then I said, fuck yeah. <laughs> we was just started watching Bluey. This I don't week. even remember why. I see a lot of Bluey shit on my TikTok. I've, I've seen, I've seen Bluey shit for at least like, at least a month. Like, I think it's been months since like the first real Bluey shit really. Yeah. <laughs> Bluish. I I gotta swear because I gotta make myself feel more adult. <laughs> I'm talking it, about a children's show. It kind of makes me feel gross. Like I saw somebody post like a me and my boyfriend with like just reaction shots of bingo, and I was like, "Don't do this. Don't fucking do this. This is a beautiful show. Yeah. You don't need to, like talking about like, ooh, I get to see my boyfriend naked, and then it's like Bluey's please face." Or like Bingo's please face. And no, I'm like, you need get to that shit out of here. Go to jail. So actually, yeah, this is. I think <laughs> this is a good angle. Okay, there is a good angle to this. And let's talk about adults ruining Bluey. Because haven't you also said that like there's moms really like taking the Bluey yeah uh, theme and like yeah, just using moms it to dunk that want to dunk on the TikToks where they want to dunk on their um significant others, their yeah partners, husbands. So then you know the Bluey theme song goes. A beat, mom. Dad. Yeah. Yeah. You know, and it's fun. It's happy. It's a good fuck. It's a it's good really vibes. good. It, you know what? Also, music analysis. Just a little bit. Just a little. Just a little chunk. We haven't had really like theme songs for a long time. Yeah, I feel that. Theme I feel like songs um, and shows have kind of gone away, and now they're coming back. They're coming back, yeah. And I feel like, uh, yeah, like watching. Um, That's Lost's fault, by the way. I yeah, tell I play, yeah, I blame there. Lost. Yeah, Lost's intro was, and, and that yeah, was it. Recently, there's been like a big push with like <laughs> we're all we're already all over the place. Welcome to ADHD. Last of Us has hour. a theme song. Last of Us has a theme song, and like yeah, legacy like TV shows have like um they've like, not had theme songs. Well, I, well, I mean like think about like True Detective. Um, oh yeah like fucking um that was weird watching true uh, detective now that's weird yeah because it's West like a World. whole theme song i with feel like theme lyrics. songs have been put to like fucking um like hbo shows or showtime shows mostly or, like streaming shows not like shows that go not on cable tv, TV yeah. yeah not cable tv so it's it's good to see like good music kids show 
hey, it's good to see good music, kid show. Yeah. A lot of times it's kid show, not great music. We're just going to, yeah, we're just going to do a quick one, four, five, one and <laughs> call it a day. Yeah. Which actually isn't even true. Like the last time I can think about it is like, um, oh. Those guys, the adults that creeped me out with all the colors. They're like music, um, little town, sleepy town, sleepy town junction, Late. little sleepy, sleepyville. What the fuck is it called? But the guy that's that he looks yeah, like a, a stroke. Wait, I'm he looks confused. like a little goblin and he's got blue wings, <laughs> blue and he's got a little like he looks like Elvis a little bit. <laughs> Wait. Shit, man, I don't know. Jimmy Neutron? No, what? it's not Jimmy Neutron. <laughs> it's like a when, children's show. When when on the the now defunct Jimmy Neutron ride, they turned him using Cosmo wands and the Eggman into a. This is a very specific reference I'm making. This <laughs> the they turned the Eggman into Elvis and then yeah, across, Lazy Town. Lazy Town. Okay. Lazy Town. Okay. Yeah. You know Lazy Town. Yeah, okay, I know Lazy Town, yes, I'm well yeah, aware. That I was, was like the last time that there was really any, like, really good music. I yeah, like. the only other one I can think of is Spongebob. I like Spongebob theme. Spongebob, yeah, Spongebob, well, yeah. Well, that was, like, way early, though. I mean, like, you know, like, um, um, Baby Geniuses. That one. Okay, yeah. You're... Going on a trip in a real rocket ship. Nobody but a... Yeah, like, that's a good, I get that, that's yeah. a good one. But yeah, I don't know, I like, okay, so... I don't know where are we. I had a it? mental breakdown trying to think of Lazy Town, man. Yeah, I had yes. like a like a breakdown in thought in my <laughs> train of thought. Um, but yeah, good music and, and yeah, Bluey. Good yeah. music and Bluey. And anyway, TikTok people, TikTok, TikTok people. moms are like putting the text on the screen, and it's like you know who oh, did all the are... washing today, blah blah, blah. <laughs> mom. mom, and then who slept in and watched football. Dad. Dad, you need to shut Who the fuck did up I wish about. Was never born. Bingo. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, my son. <laughs> my son. Yeah, you need to shut the fuck up with that. This is a beautiful show about yeah. a beautiful family that is healing my inner child, and you need to stop this with your <laughs> negativity. Yeah, honestly, you need yeah. to stop doing this. Yeah, you know, and I think yeah, the real the real angle I want to talk about is why did it take so fucking long for this show to exist? <laughs> yeah. Christ, where was the show when Holy I was a like, fucking kid? Can we talk about the fact that, like, I think I said as a formula, uh, every five episodes is the sad episode that makes you cry because a parent does something your parents never did. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> or did way too late in Yo. my life. <laughs> Or, you know, you see, like, that they really capture that feeling, especially with Bingo as a kid where oh, yeah, you just like, get sad yeah. for no reason. Or you get something happens and you get that just like a really harsh really just fucking very like like just concentrated feeling of sadness yeah as like a toddler yes like fuck man i remember every single one of those i have a very good memory probably because of trauma <laughs> and uh i have very very good memory and i remember distinct times where i was crying my fucking eyes out and people being like shut the fuck <laughs> up <laughs> Oh, okay, can we actually? Okay, can we talk about the oh. one episode last night that really like fucking Fucked me up? Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Only if you're comfortable with it. I don't want to like put Absolutely, that's okay. the only one I want to talk about. Yeah. Okay. So, so we're so, just sitting here like, but we're just. I'm playing but, yeah. The Sims. I'm playing Stellaris. We're fucking going, like, they're fucking... playing. They're playing their little imagination games, you know, whatever. And then okay, so okay, no, okay, so I want to say for the record, I think Bluey does a lot of like things right, and like this is one of those examples. Like they do, like they talk about a lot of serious topics. Which I'm surprised about. Yeah, like, wow, yeah. How well they talk about it. Yeah, for sure. They, in one ex uh, episode, for example, like they talked about like nature and like they didn't like they weren't preachy about it. And I'm like, good, don't be preachy about yeah, it because then really you're gonna turn people well. off yeah. about nature or oh, you gotta turn people off of like you know a dad being more in the house and like supportive as yeah. opposed to traditional gender roles. Yeah. yeah. So okay, so in this episode, it starts off with. Uh, I don't even remember what was going oh, on. Oh, I, I remember fully. So Bingo is, he's being Bingo. He's he's making a little domino heart. No, that's not it. That's what I'm taught. I'm pretty sure it's not it. Wait, no, yeah, you're right. It is it. Yeah, you're right. It's a, the fairy circles one. You're so right. I'm a bluey expert. <laughs> <laughs> and I will not yeah. be, look at my microphone. It's blue yeah. for bluey. Okay, <laughs> if, I, if I hear any fucking bullshit... 
So yeah, fucking Bluey, you know. Bingo's uh, trying to make a, a make little hard, yeah, heart. and, he, and he wants and she wants a uh, dad. Uh, to be the one to uh, like uh, knock yeah, over the heart, knock it over him. But Dad's busy on the phone. He's Doing trying to something. text and send an email. And Bingo, the little shit, <laughs> just comes up and is like, "Dad, uh, Dad come, come look, you know, blah blah blah." And, and then like the Dad's the like, time, "Get the fuck out of here!" <laughs> Bingo, no, I think is what it yeah. was. Yeah. And then Bingo, sadly, she walks away and does the the thing, and like a little tear starts forming. It's so it's sad. It's so sad. It's so sad because they're all so dogs fucking, too. And they're all dogs. And so like, imagine like saw, <laughs> the sadness is so crazy that like if you just showed me a real life dog and the dog whimpered, I would be falling <laughs> be on the ground. But no, you made these cute little baby D- puppy little dogs. Baby yeah. puppies. That Bingo, are she's like fucking like crying uh, and like and, like you know like calling into a little ball and like knocks over the domino like, or like when she was sad and she went underneath a fucking deck or something oh yeah like a real dog would and i'm yeah. just like wow i want to die that was also like oh if sadness like this can exist yeah, i want to so not sad. live I, anymore i was like crying during that shit i was that crying was... a lot the past week because of Bluey. <laughs> But no, yeah, so, so fucking the yeah, entire so, family is like, oh my god, there are fairies, whatever. Fairies yeah, there's circles. fairies, yeah. We have to find the fairies, whatever, w- including the dad and the mom and Bluey and Bingo. Yeah, it's because they're all, you know, they're all playing along with yeah. the fairies, yeah. And like, uh, the first thing is like all the tales of like everyone besides Bingo gets like uh, braided. Yeah. And like, they're like, oh, fairies. They, they go through a bunch of really funny things. And then eventually. There's one point where they walk up to a window and the fairies have drawn, um, uh, the dad, the dad like, stinky and like, uh, <laughs> oh, and like with the rollerblades, rollerblades like, on his paws, and he's and like, dancing he's around phone. the the um mailbox. So the fairies want him to go dance around the mailbox. So he goes over there, and then he's like, "I'm not gonna do this outside in public." I, everyone's public, yeah. yeah. You know what the fuck? And, and then and everyone's like, "Fucking do it!" And Bingo bitch. gets frozen by the fairies. Yeah, and so. And so we're fucking having the best time, man. I'm just like, yeah, bro, fucking fairies. Hell yeah, dog. Yeah. Hell yeah, dog. And then the dad, out of fucking nowhere. I think unprompted as well. Unprompted. Bingo. And this is one of the most the, yeah. crushing parts of this. Because the dad doesn't really know exactly why Bingo's so upset. Because to him, he just did the go away thing and then just he went right back. He doesn't know yeah. exactly. Because, A, a kid isn't going to come up to you and tell and you. Say you it. hurt and, my feelings. And, you know, people are forgetful and people are, like, sometimes shitty and they don't remember being yeah. shitty. So, yeah, fucking. And sometimes, you know, yeah, that's the one of the best things. Out. You go over your limit as a parent. Yeah, yes. sometimes. Yeah. Yeah, it happens. Fair enough, yeah. So then he, this fucking Can A I plus say it, dead, though, because it, it affected me? Yes, you're good. Yeah, all right. sorry. S- fuck you. <laughs> Someone didn't silence her. Oh, shit. Okay, it was about Rihanna and Chris Brown, because I've got a bunch of multiple tweets popping off right now. Sorry. Uh, <laughs> fucking... <laughs> But yeah, Chris so- Brown said he was 17 when he beat up Rihanna, and that's fucking insane, because that would have meant that Rihanna was dating a 17-year-old, <laughs> and she would never do that. She, <laughs> she is a fucking queen. Yes, yeah. That's insanity. And also, he went on Good Morning America, he wore that little blue, blue bow, bow tie, tie, yes, like a little fucking baby with a little button up all the way up to his fucking thing, and he was like, I'm so sorry that I beat the shit out of a human woman. And then everybody was like, okay, now don't do it again. Newsflash, he fucking did it again. again. No shit, dude. We gave him no consequences. Yes, yeah. Speaking of blue blow ties, Bluey. 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 So he goes out to Bluey's frozen, and then the dad is like, hey, Bluey. I'm about to ruin Sarah's life right now. (laughs) Um, Hey, 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 bingo. Hey, bingo. If I've ever done anything to hurt you i'm so sorry i do not mean to hurt you whatever the fuck he said doesn't matter he apologized he apologized dude and said i love you no matter what and i will always love you like something along those lines don't fucking say that right now. i'm gonna cry on this <laughs> podcast and i was just playing the sims and josh was just watching and then he turns to me and i'm like <laughs> <laughs> yeah I am being activated right now. <laughs> oh no! It's coming up. It's it's happening. <laughs> One time, I told my mom, "Hey, is it cool if you don't stalk me at the airport?" And she was like, "Fuck you." <laughs> One time I was like, hey, mom, can you not try to f- 
find me at work when I don't want to talk to you? And she went, well, how about you shut the fuck up, <laughs> bitch? <laughs> like, <laughs> who are these parents that are going to their children and being like, I'm so sorry. I love you. I'll never, I'll try my best. since. <laughs> Bro, my mom will be like, well, listen, I'm so sorry. I love you. So whenever you decide to, you decide to stop being a fucking <laughs> bitch and come talk to me. Yeah. And that was... um. And the answer is never, you dumb C word. <laughs> You're lucky I can't say that shit or else I get demonetized. Yeah. Die in a ditch. So we... Yeah, so... <laughs> So yeah, Bluey brought out all these feelings last night. And this also wasn't the first time that Bluey really made us cry. No, we, many times, yeah. I think like maybe seven episodes I'm, in there was something. I can't I remember. you were going to say seven times, and I was like, pro probably more than that. I think huh? every time we've binged Bluey, because I really do think it's like every five episodes-ish. It's legitimate, yeah. Like there's like something that's like... They recently oh had my the God. death of an animal one. <laughs> oh yeah, that started making me cry because I was like, damn. Yeah. They really like, man, fucking... <laughs> God damn. The fuck oh, are you doing? that was the one where Bingo was at, uh, in a hospital. Oh my God, That yeah. was really... Uh, oh man. And Bingo just wants to go home, but then they send Bingo a fucking little video. I got my gallbladder taken out at 14, right? My brother called me and was like, what's up, bitch? Are you okay? <laughs> and I was like, yeah. And he was like, "Did you do you get to see your gallbladder? Like, that it was taken out? And I was like, no. And he goes, that sucks. And he hung up. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Boy, oh, boy, oh, do I God. wish I had an older brother that would make a video to make me feel better about being in the hospital. So I guess, yeah, I, I, I don't know. It's really, man, Australians like fucking A plus. A plus, man. A plus to Australians for making the like best TV show for best kids. Best TV show for kids. And adults. So I want to make a point though. Yeah. That I thought about recently that I really, I can't believe I'm going to be the one to put this on the internet. Okay. Yeah. Where are you going with this? I don't know. When I was a child. Oh, shit. A TV show came out for kids. Yeah. Called My Little Pony Friendship is Magic. <laughs> oh, are we going here? We're are going. we about to fucking go here, dude? And uh, the music was really good. The music was really good. Okay. Adults started watching it. Do Don't you... fucking think we're going to be called like... <laughs> Bloonies, we can Brody, get bro 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 uh, blue Brolies. I don't bro even know. Brolies do sound better than Bronies, though. I will get. <laughs> are we? Are we blue heads? Are we bluey heads? Well, I'm personally a bingo head, but <laughs> personally, me, I'm a bingo head. I'm but a band. I'm a bandit head. Actually. I know you're a yeah, bandit I'm a head. Fucking you're, bandit head for, yeah. you're for real bandit head over here. Um, do you think there are? Original characters. Oh my Bluey? god, there have to there be. There have to be, right? There have to be. Oh no. Ah, oh, Because there are so many. There gotta be original characters. There gotta be OCs of Bluey characters, right? You can't, we can't go down this route. We can't. Because it's gonna be a sex thing, and I really am no, gonna yeah. be pissed off. Yeah, and we're gonna have to read it. <laughs> I'm like, we're gonna have to fucking read it. I'm not gonna it. read we're that shit. Fucking, if you send me that shit, I'm blocking you. <laughs> I don't want that. I'll, I'll honestly, I might block you too. Honestly, yeah, yeah. I'm not, I don't want that energy. You're in my not life. gonna pervert like the perversion of My Bluey. Little Pony friendship is magic was ridiculous. Especially since I was like 14 when I watched that, I was like, oh, this is a cute little show. I was supposed to be watching My Little Pony back then, but then you know it was inundated with memes of like Rapidash one time said, uh, "Come inside," on the show. <laughs> I remember this? You've told me about this. I, the okay. internet was ruined, dude. Cause Rapidash said, "Come inside." Yo, I remember uh, this. Uh, you unlocked a memory. I remember mm -hmm. as a as a wee young lad watching a Tosh point oh. Yeah, and there was like some point where he was talking about like weird subreddits, and there was one subreddit. Uh, I'm not gonna say the name of it because I don't want anyone to go to it. That mm -hmm. was just all My Little Pony porn. Yeah, yeah. 
And uh, fucking Christ. Yeah. Sh- Jesus. Like, stop. Worst it. thing. Stop. Ridiculous. Oh my God. There was the most recent one. Not the most recent one, but there was one that I saw recently that was somebody made a compilation of all of the react like meme this was back in the time where memes had the impact font oh yeah they were uh, advice animals yeah so there were like reaction video reaction shots of um rapidash because people kept calling her a lesbian because she had a rainbow she was a rainbow main yeah okay so rainbow equals gay yeah and she was also pretty like masculine oh okay yeah all right as a as a character and so people kept calling her a lesbian not the bad thing but like the homophobes that liked my little pony and wanted to fuck these ponies but had a problem with the ponies being gay (laughs) (laughs) that's a line too far made impact reaction rainbow dash memes of her being sad and being like I cry every time somebody calls me a lesbian And if this shit is escalates to that point with Bluey, I'm gonna log off the internet. I don't think it will, cause uh, I think 4chan was the reason why. Uh, uh, what's it called? Um, fucking. You think 4chan doesn't have access to Disney Plus? No, I just think they're war- more worried about being Nazis. <laughs> yeah, that is true. So that's think, kind of one of the they, positive they watch, aspects they watch about Bluey the and fascism. They're like, this shit is for and insert any slur you want, just any of them. You're just good. literally anyone. Any single one. Yeah. Any anyone. Any slur. I saw a 4chan post recently about this, like, um, PSYOP situation with the trans girl, Brianna. Oh, yeah. Has the most slurs I've ever read in my life. Yeah, of course. <sighs> but I'm just saying, like, if any bad people get a hold of Blue, I'm coming to your house and I'm beating you that's, up. Yeah, that's a, that's a docs on site. <laughs> that's a docs on site, baby. <laughs> Putting that post up on the TikTok, uh, put it, making a TikTok where it's just the pictures you swipe <laughs> swipe through, and then it's just that post, and then immediately just in all text the IP address. <laughs> oh man! While uh, dancing, I'm never walking, gonna do this. Rearranging <laughs> furniture, <laughs> Babs is shopping. shopping like the first one nine two point zero. The end part, yeah. Christ. But yeah, sorry, what were you saying? I, I don't want to do this ever because I don't ever want to make people scared. But yeah. uh, I saw this thing happen one time where somebody was beating the shit out of this kid at Fortnite, right? Yeah. And this kid responded with like, I got your IP address. And the IP address was just like one, two, three, four, five, six, <laughs> seven. <laughs> and the guy was like, that's not my IP address. <laughs> Obviously. <laughs> you idiot. And I love that. That yeah. kid thought he would just he scare just like him with a, a random yeah. IP address. Like, I At least make it my... sound a little bit random, yeah. you know? <laughs> Do some research. Be like, all oh, right, yeah. that accent, that's uh, probably Southwest uh, New York. <laughs> <laughs> Looking up IP addresses. And... <laughs> God. Okay, all right. Okay, all right, enough. But go watch Bluey. Go watch Bluey. Since we can't talk about Last of Us because we haven't watched the sixth episode yet. <laughs> yeah, so that's going to come out tonight. Blue- We're going to watch that, and then we'll talk about it next week. We'll talk about it next week, yeah, because I guess Bluey and Last of Us are on the same intellectual... To be fair, you have to have high IQ to watch Bluey. Yeah. <laughs> or The Last of Us. Oh, man. Okay. okay, so we have a fan fiction segment we that were, we're, we've been doing for months now. We're going to start another one. Because there is no end to my suffering. Right. <laughs> Just, this is 39 parts to it. Fucking. Okay. Star Kids Prophecy. Star Kids Prophecy, okay. Multiple people have wanted us to read it. Yeah. We're doing it. By X dot dark roses dot X. It's always dark something, man. Also, like pretty cool fucking um that someone put cover. some effort into that. That's good. It looks like the actual books. That's great. Nice. Disclaimer, I do not own this book. I'm only showing it before I show you my rewritten version. Star Kid has had many h- hardships through her life with the prophecy out of darkness stars will come and get rid of the evil tiger and Holly. Fuck Holly, I guess. She called a stray. <laughs> Fuck Holly. All my homies hate Holly. <laughs> Will Starkid be able to figure it out? Multiple people have asked specifically for this one. It's number 49 in Warrior Cats. It's got 39 parts. I'm ready. Let's do this. Let's fucking do this. The, the first part is called Alliances. 
I don't know if we're gonna read this whole chapter. Are you si- wait? These are longer chapters too than the first than the. No, that's not what I'm saying. Oh, okay. Okay, okay. So, like I said, this ix my first stories be nice pools. By the way, it said after er sunset. So, I just realized the fans hate me specifically. They really <laughs> hate. I, I say I'm a writer, and then you guys are like, "Let's send them the worst written things." Thunder Clan. Leader, Firestar, Ginger Tom with a flame colored pelt, Deputy, Brambleclaw, Dark Brown Tabby Tom with Amber Eyes, Medicine Cat, J Feather, Gray Tom, Warriors, Squirrel Flight, Dark Ginger should be the <laughs> name of this podcast. Sorry, continue. <laughs> Bramble Pelt? <laughs> if, we're at, if we're quoting the Bim Bam, Squirrel Flight, Dark Ginger She Cat with Green Eyes, Apprentice Fox Paw, Dust Pelt, Dark Brown Tabby Tom, Sandstorm, Pale Ginger She Cat. Didn't didn't actually spell the word cat. It's a three three letter word. Uh, cloud tail, long haired white tom, <laughs> apprentice daisy paw, cream 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 long furred cat from the horse place. What? Bracken fur, golden brown tabby tom, sorrel tail, tortoise shell and white she cat with amber eyes, thorn claw, golden brown tabby tom, oh, bright heart str- white I, she cat with. Dread, someone's having a stroke. I don't know who. I don't. Maybe it's me. I feel a little shakiness <laughs> right on my right, underneath my right <laughs> lip right now. Okay, spider leg, long-limbed black tom with brown underbelly and amber eyes, white wing, white she-cat with green eyes, apprentice ice paw, birch fall, light brown tabby tom, gray stripe, long-haired gray tom, berry nose, cream-colored tom, hazel tail, small gray and white she-cat, and mouse whisker, we're still in Thunder Clan. mouse whisker, <laughs> gray and white tom, cinder heart, gray tabby she-cat, poppy frost, tortoiseshell she-cat, honey fern, light brown tabby she-cat, lion blaze, Golden Tabby Tom, Holly Leaf, Black She Cat, Fox Helt, Reddish Tabby Tom, Ice Fire, White She Cat, Toad Ribbit, Black and White Tom, Toad Ribbit? I'm going to sound like the hugest hypocrite, man, but yeah. you know, there is a limit to how much. I know with the last fan fiction we read, not My Immortal, but the one we actually read the whole thing of, uh, I made a lot of points of like, I wish there was more explained. And I'm really biting those words yeah, right this now. This is the Lord of the Rings. This of, is the Lord of the Rings. Of, we don't have to read this whole thing. Okay, but it's but we need to know this. I really do have to like emphasize. <laughs> <laughs> no, that, is such a, that is so much. Why did you laugh like a Victorian oh, lady? No. <laughs> Cause I just, cause I just <laughs> dawned on me what we're about to do. That's yeah, why. Dude. All right. This That's is an why. epic tale. It just dawned on me how much, Holy how much fucking shit. time I'm going to spend the next, oh. I don't know, thirty nine chapters. So maybe like year, fucking having to edit just this, and then at the end of the year <laughs> make a fucking fifty hour long video, <laughs> like my fucking boss. You really saw that? You went, oh. <laughs> yeah, because I'm having a mental fucking breakdown now. This is my breakdown. All right, too, yeah. all right. Maybe I it. should have gotten into fucking poetry, man. At least those things only last three fucking sentences and doesn't make any sense. I'm gonna hate this more because it's gonna make sense because there's so much fucking backstory. It's not gonna make sense, baby. It's not gonna. Make oh sense, my baby. god, I fucking hate I this. Have, okay, so I, I have it. explained to Josh the concept of warrior. Yes, cats. I'm well aware of what warrior cat is. Uh, but for for people who might not know, we have. I guess we do need to explain. So these are cats, right? This is the cat community. Cats, like actual house cats, that are gone out into the wilderness, have organized, unionized. These cats be unionized into clans. There are four clans. Thunder clan, river clan, wind clan, and shadow clan. All right. Now they have leaders, right? <laughs> Their names start with a prefix and a suffix. All right. That's it. It's a, it's a prefix suffix. That's all it is. When you're a cat, your last name is Kit. So Star Kit. I'll use that as an example. Star Kit. Star Kit will then grow up into an apprentice and will become Star Paw. I okay. think I think that's how it. It's been a long time. I was like ten when I read these. Okay, fifteen people are currently commenting. To <laughs> that's not <correct>. true. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Star Paw and become and that then we'll learn under a warrior, which is an adult cat. All right. Okay. All right. Okay. All the right. apprentice will then graduate to a warrior after some time and get the second half of their name. Yeah. Like Star Pelt. I don't know. It doesn't matter. Fuck it. Yeah. Right? None, none of the shit matters. And then that will be their name for the rest of their life. Unless they get to be the leader of the clan 
which will then change to blank star. So in the case of Star Kid becoming a leader, her name will be Star Star. <laughs> like Mario Mario and <laughs> Luigi Mario. And then will be voiced by Chris Pratt. Is yeah. that, is that what's... Breaking news. Chris <laughs> Pratt is now that voicing Star Star. 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 <laughs> Okay. I'm losing it. I'm losing my mind. Chip Patatter. Chip Chip Powder on Preluge. <laughs> Borga Borg. Yeah, Swedish C-H-P-A-T-E-R-O-E-N Chef. Fucking P A T E R O E N P R O U L O G E. Chip Patter on Preluge. The, one of the one of these days, I'm oh, just this gonna. This is extremely short. You guys are just gonna cut to my cam, and there's just gonna be a noose, just waiting, just waiting for me to fucking go and do it. The cats gathered around a pool. They all looked into it eagerly. A dark shape appeared on the surface. A blue she cat looked up. Her eyes were bright. There is a prophecy, she said, out of the darkness. Stars will come and get rid of the evil tiger and Holly. Wait for the word kid. Just wait for the word kid. Let's go. Let's go. It's about Star Kid, a white tom said. She's going to save the forest. He looked at a gold tom by Blue Star. She has powers nobody dreamed of, said the gold tom. Should we tell Jay Feather? He said. Yes, said Blue Star. He needs to know. She walked away from the pool to tell Jay Feather about the prophecy. Did you like it? Please tell me in um review. That was the first. Okay, all right. I have to watch an ad now to get to the next ad. Next thing. (sighs) God. You guys asked for this. We're going to give it to you. We are people pleasers in that way. Yeah, we really. Christ almighty. I love giving you what you want. Yeah, I love. Maybe we should have. Yo, it would have been so funny. We just read the entire like all the cats names and then that and then we were done. For this episode, it would have if been we really get funny. if we get to uh, two hundred dollars on Patreon in a month next week, we will read the entire list. That's that's a, that's ball in your fucking court, everybody. <laughs> All right. We I'm gonna have to go back to see. Don't say that. They're not gonna give us fucking money. I need I need I need to feel like I earned something from this. You know, I need to feel like other than gratification, I guess. Chapter, <laughs> chapter to the rose of a heroine. Okay. Chapter T O, I think of meeting two, the rose of a heroine, spelled like the drug heroine. I think oh, meant heroin. No. I think you meant heroin because I remember that. From I the books. really, I really hope that this it, was this written also before the invention of spell check. Is this also going to be? I don't think spell check has any influence on any of this. A man can dream, Sarah. A man can dream. Okay, this is like a real chapter. Okay, okay, let's go. Let's go. Okay, Jazzy Coon, please, please, Plaz, don't get mad at me because you're not in it yet. You'll up a pair soon. Don't worry. Fuck. Starkit walk up and sunlit was in the branches. She closed her eyes again, still tired. But her mom wouldn't let her sleep not today. Butter is spelled like butter, B-U-T-T-E-R. Is this why you guys fucking asked us to do this? <laughs> this is good. To make it worse? To, uh, yeah. have to, because it has more somehow? You guys know what I want. <laughs> Sweetie, it's time to get up, said Dawn Sparkle, her eyes shining. shining. Today is important today. <laughs> what is it, Mom? Said Star Kid awake right away. Then She Cat remembered remembered what today was <laughs> oh my gosh it's the ceremony today she squelled exercedly today was the day she was an apprentice okay all right she flicked outside not even waiting for her mom but her mom caught up to her quick sweetie you know the clans don't accept cats like use sometimes she said stark stark glared she didn't like Lake be told that just because her mom was used to be Shadow Clan cat and her dad was Jay Feather, the medicine cat, didn't mean she was different. Starpaw, come here, said Firestar from the leg. He jumped down. Star Kit is home for you to become a apprentice, he said. You're a strong, brave cat, and because of that, I will mentor with you. Everybody gasped. Star Kit did too. She heard her mother say, Wow. <laughs> 
You know, I, I listen, I know there's more spelling errors, but at least I understand what the fuck's being oh, said. Oh, shit, get him. I, I will say, you know, okay, so I, this is interesting for me because I get to compare two different wolf. Not, one's a wolf, one's a cat. Already so far, they're, they are, this person's forced to do actual cat shit, though, because they are cats. Yo, this is making me so happy as being someone who used to read these. Yeah. Fire Hurt liked her shoulder. He whispered in her ear, you'll be the best there ever was, Star Paw. I know, T. Sur- surprised, she walked away when they were done howling for her. Then she went offered to Jay Furthern and Don Sparkle, who were very prod. Daughter, we're very happy, but he have to say something, said Jay Feather, his chest puffed out. See, there is this prophecy Star Calm gave me. It said, out of the darkness, stars will come get rid of the evil tiger and Holly. Star Paw gasped. What does it mean? Lol, I update fast, don't I? Review Earl hit over the head with a frying pan. XDD, JK. <laughs> fucking violent. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> um, These are good senses. Yeah. So, okay, do you have any questions so far? I feel like there's a lot of exposition we've gotten through. <laughs> actually, I do actually have to... So, Firestar is yes, Firestar, the original yes. character of the books. Okay, so Firestar was, is the original. Yeah, Firestar, he was a house cat who um, ran away from home and got lost in the forest and was adopted into ThunderClan and eventually worked his way up through like eight books. Yeah. The to, rankings yeah. to get to Firestar. Okay. Yeah. So it's like Star pretty Star. insane that he's taking Fire uh, Star Kid under his wing. Okay. All right. So that's important. Like okay. it's not a thing that happens that the leader of the clan has an apprentice when you when you have when you just read the giver the other uh, right yeah, after right. like it's very much like this is the star kid is like the mary sue of yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> fucking warrior cats okay all right so okay do i do another one you are doing you can let's i think this will be the last one we got the first two weren't really ones yeah that's fair okay so okay God, oh my god. I I I mean, I'm more interested in this one. Yeah. Uh, if I understand it, <laughs> yeah, I think We might go through this faster, I think. We might. <laughs> May- maybe. Maybe my hell won't last though so long. Yeah, yeah, maybe, you know. Okay, let me let me loosen okay. my cranium cuz I'm getting a fucking aneurysm right now. Yeah, like, absolutely. Like, okay. Let me know when you're ready, man. All right, I'm ready. I'm ready. <laughs> Okay, chapter three, the battle for the calm. Also, I want to mention Star Clan is their, um, basically like, is like heaven. Okay, Star Clan is, <laughs> okay, that makes it's sense. It's the afterlife, basically. All right. So, like, if you die, you're part of Star Clan. You now? go to Star Clan. You don't go to Fire Clan. <laughs> you don't go to Lava Clan after. <laughs> yeah, you don't get cremated and go to Lava Clan, yeah. Um, now, if you're a bad cat, you go to Lava Clan. That's what I mean. Yeah, I'm trying to think. I don't think there is a hell, is there? That's Somebody nice. write in the comments if there's a hell. <laughs> or hell in equivalent. This world. Hell equivalent. Hell Clan. Hell Clan. I don't know. Uh, you know, I could have just gone for the easy one. <laughs> thanks, Jazzy Coon. Okay, no. Chapter three, the battle for the calm. Uh, thanks, Jazzy Coon, for the good review. And stop flaming the destroy. I bet you can't write such a good story. Uh, I mean, yeah. <laughs> Fair enough. I can't write this. Yeah. <laughs> I guess you're right. I guess so. Starpaw walked over to the apprentice's den. In Sid, she saw her sisters, Flamepaw and Lakepaw, and her friend Jazzpaw, authors note, Jazzy Kun, you're my BFF, was slapping on the moss. Jazzpaw, get up, she cried. Jazzpaw opened her brilliant blue eyes and looked at her. Do you, I'm gonna not... There are so many mistakes now, I'm actually going to like... Try and actually read I'm with the word. I'm not going to read every single mistake. Okay, thank you. Because it's going to get ridiculous. Yeah. Do you want to go on patrol with me, she asked. <laughs> sure, said Jazzpaw, getting up from the moss. They li- they leafed and went to the entrance to camp. But then a black a, a cat came in through the entrance. It was Blackstar. Shadow that- Clan are attacking, she yelled. <laughs> All the cats came out from their dens. She jumped on a cat and clawed him, and he ran off. <laughs> Good job, Jeez. Starpaw, Fi- Firestar called. The last cat I knew that could fight like that was Sandstorm. Oh, wow. What a throwback. You're a good <laughs> fighter. Starpaw was happy. She was a good fighter. Maybe this is what the prophecy meant. Thanks, and please, no more flame. That's it. All right, there's some conflict, at least. You know what? Okay, so there's conflict. 
Okay, we've read technically three fan fictions now. We've read one full one. We've read the first three chapters of My Immortal. Now we're three chapters into this one, right? Uh, well, yeah, four chapters. Yeah. Four chapters now, whatever. Uh, fucking. So already, this is more interesting and entertaining because there was a conflict. Yeah, there is action. <laughs> there is an action, yeah. Yeah. My Immortal, there wasn't any conflict that wasn't Draco Malfoy's fucking. Yeah. Is fucking well, upset at good Charlotte. Before. I will say that's a more crafted story than this, honestly. The fact that it's jumping straight into the like a war with Shadow Clan is like kind of crazy. I love it. I, I'm like, yeah, let's not waste any time. I really See, okay, so okay, in that's the, the books, thing. it took like so, multiple times, like you know, like a war. It was yeah. supposed to be like war. Yeah, you okay, know? I understand that. Yeah, but to me, okay, so in my head though. Mm -hmm. So, okay, so now we're having the opposite problem as the other two, where it takes too long for shit to happen. And now it's really quick, and I'm like, well, I don't and know that's if I not like okay. That. See, that's why, that's why I'm more interested, I feel like, because now we have a polar opposite. Yeah. Actual. I think, yeah, you were like teased that whole time from the first one, and then you're like, thank God we're actually getting into it now. You know what I mean? Yeah, you know? Yeah. But now we're like, yeah, let's get into it. Let's get the fuck into it. Let's do it. And I'm just like, man, Stark, <laughs> I'm now feeling like, man, Shadow Clan wouldn't do that. <laughs> yeah okay yeah so that's the difference right it's like i uh i have no you have no, no idea. reference this might as well be the books for you which is crazy town because like yeah that's not at all what would happen damn i'm getting pissed off i'm like bro nah See, Shadow this is, clan so this fucking, is literally pissing. black star would just show up in another clan <laughs> this fucking, is so i'm gonna be the apologist i'm gonna fucking, be the fucking like the one that's like well let's give this one a shot <laughs> like they didn't even go on patrol yet you didn't even leave the thing you didn't even go on patrol <laughs> also like apprentices aren't supposed to go on patrol by themselves they're supposed to be like with that's what i always thought i don't know i've missed like many <laughs> many series of these books have gone on for a long time and i've missed i read all the firestar shit in the first series and i'm done going because on i grew warrior up warrior cats wiki just to find out <laughs> every single time that like fucking and I, I i did a lot of role playing so that fucking that big long list of characters in the beginning really took me back because that's uh, what you had to make i get that to like make your cat you know which i understand that yeah i think it is an interesting choice to just like put your own writer reference sheet right at the beginning well, that's as opposed what, to like that's you know. how they do i think probably that's how the books do it oh really because there are a lot of characters okay and so it's like uh you know like lord of the rings they'll be like these are or like game of thrones they'll be like okay this guy is connected to this guy and this guy's connected to this guy that's fair you then. have like that's lore fair. you know okay and i think yeah maybe that's yeah. why i'm more intrigued is like there's at least like there's a world yeah. And it's not like, it's not Harry Potter related, and it's not just California. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah. There's world building in There's these world books, building, yeah. yeah. And like, it's kind of like baby's first wo world building, you know what I mean? Yeah, and like, th don't get me wrong, I'm not going to say like, this author just built a whole world. No, there's clearly a, you no, know, she like, stole it from the but author. She at least like, you know, stole it from a thing that has like, I thought world. that this was going to, well, she stole Firestar from the books and also many other like many other cats in here. I remember Jay Feather and I remember um I think Brambleclaw also. I remember them. And I remember Sandstorm. I remember Sandstorm. That was so sad. Fucking yeah. <laughs> I get you, I get yeah, you. You know what I mean? That's I remember fair. all these, it's like the OG. And there were I really expected this to be like I'm part of Purple Clan. You know what I mean? Like, because yeah. there are a lot of those around where it's like, bro, I'm just out here living in Purple Clan because it's a sort of a, you know, this sort of small forest is implied to not be the only clans that exist. Oh, okay. There are others. So you have like many, many, many clans out there. Mm. Like when I was role playing, it was not in the original clans. It no, was it was like you go on to a homebrew ass. Yeah. Like, fucking, okay. Yeah, basically. Yeah. Which was cool. And you know, mm. but this is like in, from the original shit in okay. the clans. I don't know how much I can talk about this anymore because I'm like really tired about it. <laughs> This is really bringing this up. This is really like fucking bringing uh, up your mental. 15 year old 
memory. I get you. I'm okay. Are you excited to read this at yeah. least? Okay, good. That's I want to know what happens. I want to know what happens too. I'm actually excited. Sounds like a new thing. Fucking happens weird... every every two sentences. So I feel that there's yeah. yeah I'm I'm more. I'm not gonna say hopeful. <laughs> I'm not. But like, if I'm you more... read what the words were, you would not be. Yeah, but at least like you know, at least like I understand the sentences beyond the spelling. <laughs> You're so right. Beyond the smelling. The smelling. Yeah. Okay, I'm gonna show you a chapter. All right. Can I actually read? Okay, I'm gonna read like one sentence of all the imperfections. Uh, that's really depressing. Oh my gosh, it's my c- ceremony today. <laughs> she squelled, exercisedly. <laughs> today was the day she was an apprentice. She got apprentice right. Good for her. Apprentice is a difficult word. Apprentice, yeah. She flicked outside, not even waiting for her mom, but her mom caught COT up to her quick. God damn it. Yeah, dude. All right, never mind. I'm not hopeful. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. (laughs) Okay. Christ. Fucking ridiculous, dude. Gobble ghoul. We're going to read this whole thing. It might be quicker. We might be able to do three or four. uh, (laughs) Speed run this. Well, it's like they're like this big. Speed run this so we can go back to being a normal podcast. No, we're normies. gonna go to something else. We're gonna end Never. up reading all of my Never. Oh fucking Christ. I get why no one wants to clap. <laughs> Therapy Gecko. <laughs> Therapy Gecko when What would Therapy Gecko think about my immortal? Let's get him on. At Therapy Gecko. <laughs> I think Lyle would be like, it's creative. Lyle, what you just said is causing me to have a panic attack. Can you please elaborate why why you were being so positive? <laughs> He's always positive. I know, yeah, I know. Uh, God. You want to do ads? Yeah, let's do ads. Welcome to the ad break. Hello. Hey, are you enjoying this podcast so far? I know, I sure am. Well, then you better hit that like, comment, and subscribe <laughs> on, on YouTube and hit the gosh darn bell as well. The energy is off with this one. We're uh, very yeah, low I'm, energy. I, yeah, we're very low energy, yeah. Yeah. I, we we, we take a 10-second break and immediately crash. <laughs> you know how it is, From guys. From the adrenaline. From the Star adrenaline, yeah, and, and blue. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, uh, like, comment, subscribe, hit the gosh darn bell if you're watching on YouTube and raise five stars on Apple and Spotify. Make sure you're subscribed on those platforms as well. Got them. And if you want to help support the podcast financially, uh, if you leave a review, we'll read your review as long as it's five stars. Yeah. I if, think well, I'm we're, not we're, reading any of that other negative shit. No right? negative bullshit. No negative bullshit on But uh, if you go over to, if you want to help the podcast financially, the best way to do is go over to patreon.com forward slash APWSTR. Uh, we have a new video kind of promoting it and we're going to probably release it this week. Yeah. Uh, we also have a, a exclusive series called Sarah vs. Matt Damon. Indeed. Where you just watch Matt Damon movies and review them. I gotta edit it and release it this week. Mm-hmm. Uh, but we also get uh, ad-free content, so you won't have to listen to this or have YouTube ads or Anchor ads. Yep. And you get access to the Discord. And also just a bunch of a bunch of content. Anything yeah. that we make as well is going on Patreon. Yeah, exa- yeah. and we'll yeah. usually use that as a place to like kind of experiment. We have yeah. on the back burner, there is a... <laughs> As a, a way for us to dip our toe back into role playing games, there's a Pedro Pascal, <laughs> which I think we should do. I honestly want to do that soon. I think yeah. that would be really fun. Hell yeah, I want to do that. Heck yeah, if no. I can find my D D six, we'll be able to do it. We definitely have one around here. For yeah, sure. or so. we just use Google, tap the button. Yeah, the yeah. Because like you guys won't even see it on the thing, but whatever, it's fine. But yeah, so yeah. Uh, fucking, we might do that soon. We are gonna do that soon. We are gonna do that soon. Uh, but yeah, so that's where we're gonna post most of our uh, Patreon stuff, our exclusive content. Yep. Yeah. Uh, if you want to help out with a one-time donation, we have a buymeacoffee.com forward slash APWSTR. Uh, if you buy us a coffee, uh, we'll say whatever you have to say during the segment, as long as it's not racist, homophobic, uh, etc. Or anything bad. I don't think we have any. We right? don't have any this okay, week. That's fine. Yeah, it's all good, though. No worries. Yeah. Uh, other ways to support the podcast financial, we have merch, link down below. Indeed. And we also have channel memberships. Whenever we do live streams, you'll be able to uh, watch the streams and use our live emotes. Yeah, that'll be fun. Yeah. And we are doing uh, Stardew, Stardew Valley, Valley right now yes. in two weeks. Yeah. Yeah, two weeks from the week of this episode or the week yes. after this episode goes out. Every Wednesday. Times. Um, so, like, if this comes out on Tuesday, that Wednesday it's not going to be, but then the, but week, the week after. after. Yes. Yeah. So, yeah. But every two weeks we usually do Stardew Valley as long as we can. Yep. 
Uh, but yeah, is there anything else? I think that's it, baby. I think that's everything. Fucking yeah. Back to our show. Back to our show. All right, welcome back. Welcome. Uh, I'm getting more progressively sick. <laughs> Yeah, Josh got sick. I, so, I, I've been sneezing a little bit all day today, but like at, during the break and during the ad, I slowly started feeling more of my nasally mm. voice come out. So it's uh, it's getting worse before it gets better. At least we're doing this now. Yeah, so at least we're doing this, this now. Down. Yeah. So there there should still be a podcast this week, but yeah. I apologize. My voice just slowly gets more like this and disgusting. No, it's okay. But yeah, welcome to the Reddit and listener story segment. Uh, as per usual, we are still looking for listener stories. Uh, we are down to, I think, six remaining ones. Yep. After... So I'm doing, uh, I'm doing, a uh, all Reddit today, yes. baby. And I have one Reddit story and four listener stories, uh, including an update Ooh. to a story we did very recently. Oh, nice. And it's going to be interesting. <laughs> Ooh, I can't Ooh, wait. Yeah. Um, but... I'm fucking winging it. So the ones that I'm reading are, I'm just now or, reading. yeah this is like yeah are you going for like popular ones too do you not really care i'm just going down the list of, and seeing what like i'm is. on am i the devil they're all shitty am i the asshole stories and i'm yeah. just going down the list i will I, skip ones where the title i'm like don't know if i want to talk about that i get that yeah but um yeah let's see i feel that there's a lot of am i the assholes that like that looked at the titles like oh that could be a good one that i read the post and i was like i can't read this sometimes that does yeah. happen yeah we got to find another pilot story <laughs> We do. That we one was to, really good. Yeah, we need to. We need to be part of the 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 discourse. The, the discourse. Yeah, we need to help popularize we need the clout chase, man. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah okay. clout chase ourselves because we were the fucking first ones to do it. We were, baby. Okay, am I the asshole for stealing? <laughs> <laughs> Just realized what I said out loud. It's really funny. <laughs> Uh, it is in quotes. So. It is in quotes. Yeah. Okay. But yeah. Oh. Right. How do people get into this shit? Wow. Uh, let's go. Okay. Let's All go. Right, okay, right, okay, I'm going right. to try again. Try take two. Woo. Am I the asshole for stealing my child's birthday money? <laughs> <laughs> Whoa. Oh, this is Whoa. a good one. Wait, hold on. Let's hear hold them on. out. Let's, Let's hear, hear them out. out all right. <laughs> Jesus. Last week, it was my 36 male son's 10th birthday. Too young to steal. <laughs> Too young to steal from your son. Yeah. Wow. We threw, or I'm sorry, steal. We threw yeah. a big party for him with lots of extended family on both sides. Both me and my ex wife. Huh. Uh, 35 female of very large families and since my son is older now I instructed them to gift money rather than lots of toys that he wouldn't use <laughs> I also thought this would be a good learning opportunity to teach him about financial responsibility he's 10 <laughs> he's not gonna learn shit about financial I'm 25 if you give me money I'm gonna look at you like you just said, I, I asked you, uh, hey, do you want to make a frozen pizza that we have here? And then we we're like, let's order out of pizza. <laughs> you were literally yeah, I'm just terrible like at that. money. <laughs> I'm bad at it. Uh, no one had any issue with this and all gave cash. The party went well. We all had a great time. And by the end of the day, my son had ended up with quite a lot of money. I told him the amount he had and he seemed really excited. We cleared up and I went to pay it into the bank for him. Side note. I'm a bit of a collector. Mm. I collect vintage cereal boxes and have done so since my early 20s. I have amassed quite the collection over the years and it is worth lots. I'm sure it is. I hope to use part of it to pay for my son's college tuition. Your cereal boxes? You, you, spent, you your, spent your entire 20s you, collecting cardboard boxes? Hold on, boxes? I'm sorry. You stole money so you can buy a Cereal fucking box? 1950s Boo Berry fucking Oops All box. Berries box? <laughs> you think there's one that's Oops All Boobs? Yeah, that, that's a misprint, and that's like that that, that, that's actually worth money. You could pick. That I would buy. Yeah. That evening, I stumbled across a 1963 Post Toasties Corn Flakes box, which would complete This Can't Be Real! Wow. Let's go, let's go. Come this on, keep it going, keep idea. it going. That evening, I stumbled across a 1963 Post Toasties cornflakes box, which would complete my 90, my 63 core collection. It was one I'd been after for a while, but I had never been able to buy before, so naturally, I was very excited. 
The price was just over the amount my son was given for his birthday. I thought it over, and given that this would complete a major aspect of my collection, it would boost the value as a whole. I decided to kill two birds with one stone by using this to teach my son about investment and also provide for his future. I told my son I had something to show him and called him into my office. Called your son into your office? Do you also call yourself an investor? <laughs> Do you also call your son an employee? Yeah. <laughs> son, you got written up for HR by... Uh, for pooping in your pants. Yeah. Like what? Okay. I, ex I explained that this box is going to go up in value and would pay for his college one day, his birthday present this year. I bought the box and he thanked me. A couple of days later, I received a phone call from my ex asking for some of the birthday money. Apparently, my son had asked for a large Lego set. When I explained that there was no money left and my son knew this, she was furious and is now accusing me of stealing my son's money. I don't think I've done anything wrong as I was just providing for my son and teaching him important life lessons. But am I the asshole? Yeah. I don't know, guys. Is he? <laughs> I think, I think, um, cereal box collector, man. Somebody is fucking someone's, someone someone's trying to fuck with me the here. <laughs> of a cereal box collector. Greg Turkington ass. Greg fucking. Turkington ass man. <laughs> <laughs> Who is fucking this man? I thought the cereal collecting was endearing. Yeah. <coughs> I didn't so realize it would funny. escalate. To, you didn't realize it would escalate to this. Yeah. It's going to pay for his college. No, it fucking, it's a cereal box. And have you heard of this new thing I'm called? I'm going to go on eBay right now. I'm going to look up 1963 yeah. Post Toasties. Finding all the 1963 posties, burning them so you have the only one. Is that what it was called? What was it? I don't even 19, know. I don't even... Wheaties? I don't even know. No, not... Post Toasties Corn Flakes. Okay. Um, have you... This guy is gonna, like, freak the fuck out when he hears about NFTs. <laughs> Son, <Whoa>. I brought... <laughs> I bought you... I spent your entire college fund on an image of a monkey. It's on the computer, so I'll never lose it. Damn. How much? Let's $1,200. That's, wow. that's, you know, three in... $500? You know, community college, one class. Vintage Disney post toasty cereal box cutouts, $150. What the fuck is going on? I will say, though... 1963 post cereal box okay, baseball. Okay, so let's talk about... Okay, so I was actually watching a video about this. Seven eighty nine. Wow. <laughs> actually, yeah, okay, these are pretty expensive. But also, it's Kinda, a ten-year-old. Yeah, it's the a ten-year-old. Yeah, no, fuck off. So, okay, let's talk about collectibles. <laughs> Buying so, Legos, man. Spine fucking like the Lego set will probably be worth more in ten years. Use your own money for your own collection to buy him that shit. Yeah, exactly. So, okay, yeah, like literally, like I was watching a video about this recently because um, yeah. a lot of people do uh, in the YouTube space. No wonder why we don't have sponsors. I shit talk all of them. Yeah. Uh, Masterworks. Have you seen that one? I have. Yeah. Yeah. yeah so like uh, for those who ha don't happen to know, it's like where you buy fun functionally, you buy shares of paintings and uh, then they Maybe resell. A <laughs> okay. So like Masterworks is like, uh, so basically you buy like you buy shares of paintings for like 500 bucks and like eventually they resell it and you get part of the profit and they just take care of of like all the storage and handling security shit like that so it was like a 20 percent markup right but the problem with that is like uh, apparently like in a i was watching like i think the guy's name is like the plain bagel he's like an investment guy but he like calls out scams yeah masterworks isn't really a scam but it is hella risky <laughs> because uh any collectible could eat it fluctuates so much in whether or not it's gonna be worth it or not because like especially with art like Art is such a, like, subjective fucking thing. Yeah. So, but, like, everyone advertises fucking Masterworks. Apparently, like, if you really want to invest in, like, shit like that, make it only, like, 2% of your portfolio. Wow. Yeah, but, like, people advertise it, like, saying, like, you could do it as, like, 20% of your portfolio. And it's like, don't do that. Don't fucking do that. Are you kidding me? <laughs> They're just crazy. I mean, I yeah. don't... I dislike the entire idea of investing in a painting. Yeah, it's it's really... It's shitty. It's all part of a shitty fucking thing. To me, it's more, it's so close to a money laundering scheme. Well, yeah, and honestly, like, that's, it's uh, it's not that far removed from NFTs yeah. or, like, the post-it fucking boxes. I, I just 
disagree. You know what yeah. I mean? With that, I, I, I feel like if you're going to buy something like a collectible and invest in it, you know, whatever, and treat it nice, it's something that you should want to yeah, display you should, in your home. Exactly. Yeah. It should be more of like a vanity thing as opposed yeah. to like, uh, I'm going to make so much fucking money like, off okay, of this. Okay. So you bought, so we went to a thing last week. Yeah. Uh, where we a guy was selling vintage t-shirts. Yes. And he's a guy that dumpster dives and goes and finds vintage like band t-shirts. Like Goodwills and like shit like that. I got one that was a Phantom of the Opera from 1986. Just I don't even like Phantom of the Opera. I was just like that's fucking cool. It was $30. Yeah. You got uh, uh the run the, this shirt, run the, the run the jewels, shirt yeah. For 20 bucks. 10 bucks. It was 40 total. Oh yeah, it was. Yeah. 40. That was 10 bucks. This was 10 fucking bucks. And you love run the jewels. Yeah, so it works perfectly. I just I'm liked... not planning on reselling this. I like I have no fucking reason to. No, I'm to. not gonna resell mine either. Yeah. I just like that it was like puff print, and I like the design of it. I'm yeah. gonna wear it. Fucking, that's it. That's it. Yeah. But it's just like, oh yeah, it's cool. It's yeah, just and like talking to him about it too was that's where very. It should be. Yeah, talking to him too about it too was so interesting because he in the in the industry of collectibles, the real people that buy it. Yeah. Uh, I think he's his words were like the son of the guy who invented Bluetooth. Wants to wear a re- Rolling Stone shirt one time and will pay four hundred bucks for it, and then he's like, "I'm good. I gotta find this Rolling Stones T-shirt yeah. to give to this the son of the Bluetooth guy." Is what he was saying, and he was like, "This is such bullshit." I was yeah, like, "Yeah, like, exactly." It's f- but there's a market and money for it. That's why you want to be on that end of it as opposed to the. That's all that guy does. Yeah. Yeah. Fucking, I get it. So you when know? you're when yeah, if you gotta make it's, you gotta make money somehow. I get it. Fucking. Yeah. I'm not. Listen, I'm not. Uh, judging the guy that no, yeah, sells no, I'm the judging thing the guy that, that buys, buys it and thing. only wears it once. And I'm judging the guy that buys it and is like, I'm gonna make so much fucking money on this later. And I'm gonna, I'm judging the people that uh, sort of develop the relationship between an art. You, you're perverting to me the relationship of the art and the artist. You know what yeah, I mean? Yeah, I kind of get that. Now, like I, we just did a thing about uh, talking about this for Patreon, for like forty minutes, for yeah, like about forty fucking minutes. Where it's like, I don't want to think when I create art, this is going to sell. It's going to fucking sell, dude. I don't want to think that. I want to just make it, you know? And so seeing stuff like that, it really is like... Fuck. (laughs) Fuck, (laughs) man. Yeah, I get that, yeah. And so, I don't know, I guess this guy with his fucking cereal boxes, I hope it's not true. Hey, okay, but we haven't even gotten to the real problem yet with this guy. He's 10 years old and he wants Legos by him. Fucking Legos, man. <laughs> you don't got to teach him about investments yet, yeah. you fuck. <laughs> you weirdo. You fuck. Whatever. <laughs> Buy cor- cardboard boxes for $1,200 right, if I you did, want. I really did miss the forest for the trees on this yeah. one. I'm sorry. but it's, like, I don't give a shit if you buy whatever. Buy baseball cards and be like, this on your is own worth time. it. You know, on whatever. your own time. Who gives a shit? This guy probably does display his fucking cardboard boxes. It doesn't matter. It doesn't give a shit. But your son you wants Legos. steal money from money. your child <laughs> to do it. That is so fucking funny, dude. Does now that kid's going to grow up and be like, yeah, my dad bought a cardboard box one time for my birthday. And it got water damage, so it's now worthless. Anyway, now he's in a home. Yeah. And I don't talk to him. You want to buy some wheat? <laughs> you want to buy some wheat? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Why does he have to sell weed? He's a businessman. Yeah, he sells a, has a weed business. He has a smoke shop. Anyway, now I know all about investments. So that's why I'm here. You know yeah. what I mean? Like, yeah. 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 God, what a little prick, dude. What a, what little a fucking, story. What a story. Christ. Yeah, fuck that. What an asshole, dude. What an asshole. Solved it. it. Buy cereal boxes if you want. I don't give a shit. It's just, it was a it was a shock also while we were buy reading. buy them Legos. Fuck it. If you have the money for cereal boxes, fucking saying. buy the Legos. That's what you should have done. You should have saved the money, bought them Legos. A, people should have been able to buy them gifts. Yeah. yeah. In the first place, that was fucking weird. Uh, C, buy them Legos and then buy this out of your own personal money for your kid. <laughs> As a gift. Yeah, exactly. Because you didn't buy him a gift. They all bought him a cereal box. Yeah. <laughs> you didn't actually get your son a gift. That's like abusive, man. I love it. Yeah, it's financially abusive. Financially sure. abusive. Christ. Uh, God. All right. Next story. What do I know? I drink Diet Dr. Pepper. Hold on. Sorry. I got to open up my email. Oh, new comment on Chekhov's lonely list. What was the comment? Read it night, Minecraft. Right now. No, my chemical romance really sums up the two of you. <laughs> it does, huh? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, because I'm I'm the right one. MCR Minecraft. 
Thank you to that person. You're pretty funny. You're a funny man. <laughs> Enjoy being around Finally, you. a compliment on this fucking show. <laughs> Am I the asshole? My wife and in-laws are fighting with me over the height of my toilets. Uh, I remember this one. I'm, I'm, I didn't read it, but I'm excited for it. Yeah. My wife and her family are angry with me because I declined my father-in-law's admittedly generous offer to replace our three standard 15 slash 15 and a half inch toilets in my house with taller, quote, comfort toilets that are ideal for the elderly, the tall, and individuals with mobility issues. Granted, he is in his late 70s, is six feet tall, and visits from out of state three times a year. I don't have a problem with replacing the one in the downstairs powder room and said as much to him. But I don't think it makes sense for my children, age six and eight, who yeah. would be the primary users of the bathroom upstairs, to use an L-fitting one for their size. It also doesn't make sense for me to use one as my primary toilet in the master bedroom upstairs. My side of the family has many intestinal problems, e.g. my brother has Crohn's and my father has di uh, diverticulitis. I've never heard of that one. Diverticulitis? Diverticulitis, yeah. Yeah. I was in a colostomy bag for a couple years. I've dealt with IBS, anal fissures, hemorrhoids, and internal hemorrho hemorrhoids in the past. Damn. My understanding is that taller toilets are not good for people like me as they slow the speed of the bowel movement, can cause extra strain, and perhaps exasperate my previous issues. I can see the extra strain. I don't know any of that other stuff. Yeah, especially if, like, if, if a taller toilet is not, if it's not good for your size. Yeah, you're like more up. Yeah. Yeah, that makes sense. Yeah. Although we both did that. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Regardless, I don't think I should need a medical reason or justification anyway. True. Yeah, it's your house. I'm really disappointed and hurt that my wife was also arguing that we needed to upgrade all three toilets to the taller sizes, particularly that she knows my medical rationale and that I'm in treatment for PTSD and I'm very sensitive at getting yelled at. She eventually capitulated after I eventually convinced her that our toilets are not actually half the size of an average toilet and we agreed that we would only update the powder room only. However, this was only after she suggested that I was being unreasonable, controlling, and that it was sad she didn't get a real say on her own master bathroom toilet size because of my psychological issues. What the fuck? <laughs> okay. I asked her to intervene with her father to initiate an apology as I didn't, don't want someone staying in my home who feels entitled to scream at me without consequence. I also can't imagine what would have happened had one of my own parents screamed at my wife in that way. My wife's response was that I was being overly dramatic and ruined the weekend for everyone. She says that if I did end up asking him to leave, that, that that would be cruel to, and to the elderly and our children for depriving them of their grandfather on this visit. I haven't done it yet and don't th in fact think I will as I'm at peace, a peacemaker and want to just move on. Mood but man. not doing so makes me feel like I'm being walked over. Am I the asshole? So as a, another person who has experienced trauma also has uh, IBS. And has had hemorrhoids and internal hemorrhoids as well. Um, fuck your wife, man. <laughs> what the hell? I yeah. did not think I would be on this guy's size side. I don't beginning. know why. I just You're was like, like, this guy just wants get taller toilets. Weird. I know. I thought the guy would want taller toilets for some reason, but now I'm like, no. You want normal toilets? And then someone comes into your house being like, taller Change toilets, all your please. To if someone came into my home, yeah. Not an apartment in my home. Yeah, where you can actually choose the toilets you have, yeah. And also, I would have to do it. Yeah. Or I would have to pay for it. Someone came into my house and was like, change all your toilets. I'd be like, fuck you. Regardless of the height. I'd be like, that's a whole bunch of money, dude. Yeah, I feel that. I don't want to renovate my toilets. I don't want to do that. Unless I want to do that. And then I will save up money to redo my toilets. I will say it's interesting. I never knew that like taller toilets have the ability to exasperate like those IBS issues or like your hemorrhoid issues. Because it's bad that you, sh it's bad. So IBS, it's bad if you strain. Oh. So like if you're constipated and you're sitting there straining, that will cause hemorrhoids. Wow. Shit. Yeah. Jesus. So IBS, you spend more time on the toilet because you feel like you have to go and you do have to go more often. Yeah. So then you are sitting there, blah, blah, blah. I oftentimes, if I eat like shit, I will have diarrhea like a lot, mm. a lot, like constant diarrhea. And then I will go and sit on the toilet for a long period of time. And you're not really supposed to do that. You're supposed to just get there, shit, get off the pot. Yeah, go I get what else. you mean. <laughs> because otherwise it causes like uh, damage to your booty hole, man. Yeah. Damn. Yeah. Wild. Yeah. So I know. Yeah. To me, it's like fucking crazy. <laughs> I'm just like just a general 
change all your toilets. Changing one toilet is fucking awesome. That would be, yeah. And then the fact that he was like screaming at you over toilet height and your wife yeah, is like... Yeah, <laughs> especially dad's being dad. <sighs> okay, pro tip for everyone listening to this. If someone says you ruined the weekend, everyone is mad at you because you ruined the weekend. You're ruining it. You're ruining it by not doing what I want. You, the controlling per you're the controlling person. You're the asshole, actually. Yeah. And uh, you're ruining everything, and my dad uh, hates you, and you need to apologize to him, and you're, you're, you're keeping our, gr- our grandfather away from your children. You should say, why doesn't he tell me that? Yeah. You well, do it. if I'm really ruining it for everyone else, they should everyone come should and tell, tell me. me yeah. To my face. Everyone should say it to my face right now. Who made you the the fucking messenger? <laughs> cuts down on the manipulation for sure. Because yeah. it really cuts through that weird logic where they're just trying to like fear and shame you into a submiss- submission. Yeah. And uh, it sounds like you're going to get PTSD from your wife. Yeah, literally. <laughs> for, um, for toilets. The fact that she's emotionally manipulating you over toilet height is crazy. It's kind of, it's like, you know, I'm not, I don't usually like saying that's a red flag, but. Yeah. That's a red flag. Like, and if the dad is screaming at you over toilets, you're absolutely right to set up that boundary where you're like, nah, I'm not going to get screamed at. I'm oh, that's who you tried compromise. You literally yeah, tried you compromising. Did. Like, listen, we'll do one downstairs, but I got yeah. kids. I got, yeah, the upstairs. kids aren't going to be, yeah, it's good that you're thinking about your kids. The kids having to climb up on the fucking that tall sucks, ass Dad. toilet. Yeah. yeah. Ridiculous. Uh, yeah. You know, it's the, li- people will really just die on any hill. Yeah. Same. But also like Especially if they're controlling themselves. Yeah. And the controlling thing is projecting for sure. Oh yeah, for sure. God. Fucking solved it. Solved though. it, man. Not the asshole. No. I believe that was that was that's how that turned out. It is crazy that you had to get like a fucking a tape measure being to tell your like wife. We have standard fifteen, <laughs> 15 and a half inch toilet. Sight of toilet fifteen. Yes, it's fifteen inches. And you know that really is like in an attempt to like prevent yourself from being fucking gaslit <laughs> into thinking, well, actually, we don't have average sized toilet. We have small toilets. You know, and you're so right, actually, about that because like that sort of um, abusive people will push your boundaries, right? Yeah. Just to test. And if your boundaries aren't fucking rock solid and they're, you know, they're like, okay, this, but you could actually push me a little bit, they're going to be like, okay. Great. I'll go. I'll leave, but then I'll come back and I'll keep pushing. Pushing it a little bit that's more. That's the whole over and over and over. And so that's sort of the point of having extremely strong boundaries because it'll be about anything. It'll be about toilet height. Yeah. It doesn't matter what it is. How many times you jiggle the keys trying to unlock the door? And before you know it, you are sitting there googling toilet height to have an argument with your wife about the reality of toilets when really you shouldn't have even gotten to this point. point, You should say, no, I don't want to do that. Yeah. And they should respect it. You know? Yeah, it's pretty fucking crazy, honestly. It really reminds me of like an online argument, like TERFs, you know what I mean? Oh, yeah. You know, TERFs will be like, oh, blah, blah, blah. It's the moving the goalposts. As much as possible, yeah. Yeah, kind of situation. I feel that. But about toilets. But about toilets yeah. in real life in and real li- screaming. Yeah. That's crazy. Fucking uh, wild. All right, get ready. I'm ready. Let's fucking go. <sighs> I don't know which way this is going to go, so. Let's see. Am I the asshole for getting mad because my girlfriend let her brother stay in our apartment without permission? Without permit. Okay. Well, we'll see. Let's see what happens. Already <clears throat> red flags here. Yeah. I, 23 male, and my girlfriend, 21 female, been dating for two years. Do the math. 21 and 19. Not bad. Not so bad. Age gap. <laughs> you're the you're the TikToker that everybody is straw manning about on Twitter. Yeah. Uh, yeah, because uh, this is actually oh wait, uh this is actually this is our relationship. Yeah, no legit. Yeah. I know, yeah, that's why I said age gap just to be that that asshole. I'm yeah. sorry. But okay, continue. Okay. I started dating her because I was attracted to her intelligence. She always gave me good advice in work and personal matters. She's very successful career-wise and doesn't let anyone walk over her. But I've been questioning this impression of her lately. Okay. I love my girlfriend for fundamental reasons. And then I started questioning it. Yeah. The Wait fundamental reasons of her character. Maybe I'm wrong about these fundamentals. 
fucking let's see, let's, insulting. I don't yeah, know. Okay, let's okay. see. Yeah, hold on. I let's... moved in with her six months after we started dating. Red flag. Her brother, then 16, was already living with her at the time as their parents passed away. Yeah, you're an asshole. <laughs> to be honest, it was uncomfortable living with a third person because I couldn't spend quality time with my girlfriend. And I, <laughs> I couldn't fuck the shit out of my girlfriend because her fucking, fucking teen brother. <laughs> wow, okay. <laughs> I spent quality time with my girlfriend and I could tell her brother didn't like me. I put up with it because he was still a kid and I felt bad for their situation. Last month, the brother turned 18. Although my girlfriend's name is on the contract, I help pay the bills and do chores around the house. That means I should have a say. But the brother was never... <laughs> I'm joking. That wasn't in the thing. Um, but the brother was never has never contributed financially. He is 18. It's not like he can't. He worked part-time jobs since he was 15, but my girlfriend refuses to let him pay... To stay with us because he needs money for his college fund. College isn't real. <laughs> that, was, that would be funny if that's what it was. I was fine with this until he became an adult. Now he should have to do his part and I told him as such. He said he would do more chores and run errands instead of paying because he doesn't have money despite having two part-time jobs. So I went to my girlfriend about it. She said that if I felt the split wasn't fair, she would pay two thirds of the rent on behalf of her brother and I could pay the rest. I started to get angry about this wonderful what? deal my girlfriend gave me. <laughs> what? I started to get angry then and told her that it's not right for her to be letting an adult man leech off of us. Not an it's her brother. What the fuck? You fucking weird. <laughs> The, uh, if you were, you're not getting married to this this lady. I'm sorry. The, sorry to break it to you. <laughs> you're not going to be living with her right, any, anymore. Soon. Yeah. I made it very clear that the brother shouldn't be living with us now that he's no longer a minor. He has been constantly leeching off my girlfriend by letting her pay for his tuition fees, college applications, etc., while giving nothing in return. When both of them started ignoring me, I packed up the brother's stuff and told him to leave. Oh, you should burn in hell. My girlfriend went totally nuts. She threw a hissy fit. <laughs> oh, shit, no. Dude, you did not write you that. You did not just say that, dude. You oh have the audacity. Oh, my God, the fucking balls. Whoa. She threw a hissy fit and said that I was overstepping my boundaries. She went on this spiel about how her family is her top priority, even though I'm the one who supported her for the last couple of years. No, you haven't. You've been a leech. She can pay two-thirds of the rent, and you can't. You fucker! She wanted to spiel about how her family is her top priority, even though I'm the one who supported her for the last couple of years, and how I had no right to bully an 18-year-old. When I tried to explain how she's being a pushover for letting her brother walk all over her, she screamed to get out and never come back. The only time when screaming is okay. Yeah, uh, I, yeah. I was obviously shocked at being kicked out of my own home, so I refused, and she threatened me with the police. Awesome. I grabbed my stuff and went, and now and I'm now waiting for her to get over it so I can return. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I love the fact that neither of us read this one before. Hell yeah, yeah actually. Yeah, fun. It was awesome. I've had to stay on a friend's couch for the last few days because my girlfriend of two years cares about doing everything for another man, completely ignoring... How she overstepped my boundaries by allowing not another man. It's her fucking brother. She's you. not fucking her brother, dude. That's not what's going on. Oh my it's God. her brother, dude. She overstepped my boundaries by allowing the an outsider in she our has place. Left. Am I the asshole for getting upset? Yeah. Yeah. You yes. know who you are. Edit. I want to make it clear that I didn't immediately try to throw out the blow the brother when he turned 18. I spoke to both of them multiple times explaining the situation, but was ignored. Tried talking about it for half a month before doing this as a last resort. She half offered, a month. She fifteen days. That's immediately. That's immediately. Yo, you said so half funny. a month. That's fifteen days. Yo, and she even tried to compromise, being like, "I'll pay for two thirds of it." Dude, what a what a wonderful woman. You just you just you just lost a gem, dog. Yeah. Edit two. After some consideration, I've decided that finding my own place and living arrangements will be for the better. Clearly, my girlfriend refuses to place any responsibility on her brother, so he'll be there for who knows how long. I'll wait for her to unblock me and get in contact to have a serious discussion about our relationship. This has to be <laughs> fake. This has to be fake. And hopefully, we'll both apologize for this losing our cool. This guy can't be that dense. And move on. <laughs> If not, there are plenty of fish in the sea. That's uh, uh, obviously she just broke up with you, you fucking idiot. <laughs> oh my god. I hope this guy lives the rest of his life 
just in miserable hatred, thinking he's still in a relationship, but his girlfriend won't talk to him. That's what I hope happens. Sorry, ladies. I... Sorry, I'm, ladies, I'm, I'm taken. Little, I'm, I'm just waiting little bit for my girlfriend yeah, to contact just, me. Yeah, she's blocked all my social. She moved to another city and didn't tell me which one. But she'll come back. She'll realize that she was being stupid this whole time, actually. I'm the smart one. I'm smart. Me smart. I'm a good boy. Okay, so this is a comment that really puts it into perspective. Yeah, let's, yeah. I moved in after six months. Okay, so you clearly joined in to get keep cheap rent and likely bail on roommates or had no other place to go. I don't feel comfortable in my own home, but it's not really your home. It's a shared apartment, yeah. He's an adult and now needs to pay. He's been leeching the whole time. Now, I feel like you're the leecher because following up with her paying two thirds of the rent means you get to pay less. Yeah. Also, it's her apartment. Her name is on the lease. Yes. You know what I mean? Yeah, literally. She has a say in what goes on in the fucking apartment. She gets to decide who lives there, who does not. Yeah. Like fucking. us, like our lease, both of our names are on the lease. Yeah. So it's our apartment. Yeah. Hers, it's, yeah, you can't it's fucking hers. kick me out yet. <laughs> no, I literally <laughs> legally could not do that. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> but yeah, no, like literally. <laughs> yeah, it's the whole reason. God, what a fucking idiot, dude. Holy shit. Yeah. Yeah, it's just it's just wild. That's a wild one. I, uh, just, I, just, I don't even know what to say. That's just really funny. That can't be already said in the middle of, of what was explaining said, yeah. it. Yeah, because like... Ooh. What a what a leech, dude. What a fucking leech. I can't believe there are people out there that think like that. I can't believe there are people out there that don't see the I'm gonna rephrase what you actions. just said. I can't believe there's stupid people out there. I can't believe okay, let me uh, rephrase what you uh, just rephrase what I said. Yeah. There are I can't believe there are people out there that are that fucking stupid. <laughs> yeah, there you go. There yeah. you go. There we go, yeah. Wow. Damn. Yeah. Missing the fucking forest for the trees, you know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> fucking cannot, cannot. Yo, speaking of so stupid she- people, and this is very harsh, and I'm going to say it anyway, and I hope he listens. My English teacher from fucking uh, high school in junior year, I one time I wrote, yeah, I could see why you say that I missed the forest for the, for the trees. And he wrote in red pen, like, what do you mean by this? And this is an adult man with an English degree. Did he also move in with his yeah. girlfriend and then her? <laughs> and I just want to be here right now, like, dog, I'm smarter than you. <laughs> yeah. Just want to say that right now, I'm smarter than you, and I Bro, always have been. fucking girlfriend's parents dead, right? So she has to, like, <laughs> take care of her brother, and you come in yeah. here and being like, like, why is she letting this um, man stay with her? He should be homeless. Okay, either this guy is a, is a, is a, is an only child, which is also disrespectful to only children, because... I don't think there only are only children, children that know are not, not to fuck your brother, you know what I mean? <laughs> or this guy wants to fuck his siblings. Yeah. <laughs> Cause it makes no sense why he would why think he's that so upset. an adult brother living with you so is anything upset. Yeah. more. That's insane. That's wild. What a crazy person. And I, I love know it. there are people out there like that too. Yeah. This is what really gets me. Yeah. Fucking wild, dude. <sighs> God, we solved it, though. We, did. we solved it. Just be glad you're not like that guy. Yeah. That's, that's the real that's moral. That's the real moral of the story. Just I'm be glad not you're not that, that shitty of a person. All right, I'm going to do one more story, and then I'm going to go take some day cool, I think. <laughs> Damn. Okay, yeah, fine. Yeah, I'm Shit. sorry. No, it's okay. I don't know why, why you said that, and I immediately thought, she does not want me to feel better. <laughs> <laughs> the way that no, you I'm said just it, like wow, it's escalated like a yeah, lot. Well, my throat really like I had oh, okay. a, yeah, like um yesterday I felt a little bit of something in my throat and I didn't realize it was me getting sick. Oh, okay. so now I, I think today know. I think yeah, it's yeah. gonna be yeah. It just you seemed totally fine, and then we started recording the podcast. Yeah, and, and by then the I started end of it, talking. You're on I'm like, <laughs> <laughs> no, I get that. I get yeah, that. So, yeah. So yeah. All right, so we got our first listener story of the night. It comes to us from Lily. Lily. They said anonymous or Lily if you want to use a fake name. I'm gonna use a fake name. Lily. Or anonymous, doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. She, her. Nothing matters. We all die in the end. Yeah. yeah, yeah. (sighs) All right. Hi, guys. Hello. Love listening to your podcast when I'm at work. Makes me feel less lonely. Thank you. Rant slash advice. All caps. Okay. All right. I need your advice on my current relationship with my boyfriend of three years. I, 22 female, and my boyfriend, 25 male, Mm -hmm. have lived together for a little more than a year. 
In the time we've been living together, I've slowly come to the realization that we both live very different lives and want to do different things. Okay. My boyfriend, we'll call Sean, is very much a homebody. He enjoys watching football, hits his bong all day, and yeah. video games. He works part-time at Jersey Mike's, usually 30 to 35 hours a week. When I ask him what his plans are for a career, he has nothing. I totally understand not knowing or not being where you want in life, but this man has nothing. I asked him what his dream job would be. He said, a sports broadcaster. So I suggested he try a class since we live in a college town. He said no. I asked what his backup backup dream job would be. He said that he, quote, hopes his brother would often offer him a job sometime. Me, on the other hand, I'm not super extroverted, but I do occasionally like going to clubs with my friends, going on hikes, fishing, mostly a lot of outdoor things since I work in forestry. I don't make much, hardly enough to get by, and I take care of all the bills. Sean pays his half rent. I've asked him if he could take care of some bills, and he makes it sound so complicated. I told him I'll just give him my username and password so he can pay them because I don't want to ask every month for him to pay me, and nothing changes. I've been dog-sitting some weekends to make some extra money, so if you need a dog-sitter, hit me up. Hell yeah. I've been getting aggravated and kind of upset that every single week weekend we sit at home. Uh, Sean plays video games and he watches YouTube all day, and he watches football all day on Sundays. It will sometimes come if I have something planned for us to do, but usually watches football the entire time we're out. So most of the weekend I spend at my friend's apartment, so at least I don't feel bored and alone. I've talked to Sean about this, and he asked if he had any hobbies he'd like to do during the weekends, and he said no. <laughs> I told him I get tired of being the only person who wants to do anything, and that I hate sitting in the house every weekend. He just gives one-word answers or ends the conversation anytime it's about something deep or meaningful. My family is plan wanting to plan a summer vacation with the boyfriends this year, but every time I've traveled anywhere with Sean, which has not been many or far, he is throwing up and sick the whole time from weed withdrawals and anxiety. I really want to travel and live in different places and do not want to ta ta be taking care of a sick person the entire time when it's preventable. He just won't go to therapy or seek help. Okay. Since Sean is sick often, I try to get him to eat healthier since all he eats is fried food. I cannot get this boy to eat anything green and won't eat anything I cook. Jesus. So if I want any real food, I do the grocery shopping and only cook for myself, which really bothers me since I enjoy cooking and sharing it with people. One day back in October, I told my coworker that it was Sean and I's anniversary and we were going out to dinner. She talked about the possibility of him proposing, and I didn't even know what to say. I thought to myself, if he proposed, I genuinely don't know what I would do. And mm -hmm. that's when I realized I needed to reevaluate our rent relationship. I know I need to break up with Sean, but I have really bad anxiety and just got out of a depressive episode last week. Yeah. My grandpa, who is like a father to me, is dying of cancer and probably won't be with us in the next few months. And my mom just beat cancer last year. Our lease isn't up until August, and I know living here alone with all this stuff gone is just going to break me. My friend that I visit all the time would be able to move in and live with me in June or July, which would be amazing. It's hard to even talk to him about a relationship because he doesn't even ever want to sit down and have a real honest conversation. So I don't even think he understands how done I am with the relationship. Sean is my first real relationship, and I just don't know how to end the first real thing I had. I just can't live the rest of my life taking care of someone else like that. I don't want to always be in charge of bills, cooking, cleaning, plans, and the inevitable downfall of Sean's health if he keeps living on eating fried food and Mountain Dew. I had not the best childhood, lots of trauma with my dad, and I always do things myself and never ask for help, so part of me wonders if maybe I caused the breakup by always doing everything by myself. But if he wanted to, he would, right? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah, that's basically it, yeah. Uh, so, I don't... Okay, first off, I want to say, morally... Yeah. I don't think there's any problem with not having a career. Yeah, I think... Uh, uh, what is it? I don't even think there's any problem with being a homebody or... Um, like, I think in just in general, you need somebody who is motivated. Yes. Like, that's you what were, you need. Yeah. yeah. And uh, he needs someone that's going to be, you know, a homebody. He also needs therapy. He has, he has something going depression, on. Yes. At least. Yeah. He's got something going on. He needs to do those things. The problem is he's not communicating with you at all. Yeah. That's the big problem here. And like, yeah, yeah that is, I think, yeah, like there, there's obviously a lot of incompatibilities, but I think commu uh, communication is the biggest one. And that is enough, I think, for uh, a breakup eventually but i, I understand I think it's probably over <laughs> it's over yeah yeah like that's that's how it sounds if you can't even have a conversation with your boyfriend about, about the, relationship, the relationship yeah you're not gonna it's not gonna happen yeah so i mean yeah make an exit plan that's yeah, kind of the situation and i know that it's gonna you've been dealing with so much stress and it sucks you know i understand like especially being somebody that wants to like 
give the benefit of the doubt and try to fix things and do things like that. But there is a point where you're like, this is hurting just me. Mm. This is hurting just me. And you, uh, you need like some sort of something, some action to like tell yourself that he's in it. You know what I mean? Yeah, exactly. <sighs> I don't know. Yeah. He... Cause like, imagine Josh, if I didn't take my, my depression pills, right? Yeah. If I, you know, didn't go to work, didn't go to school, didn't want to do the podcast, just kind of lazed around all day and spent all of our money on Uber Eats and you didn't lost pay me at not wanting to do the podcast. You yeah, lost. yeah, exactly. And like I'm you had to, you, you all with all of your dreams had to get like a fucking a job, like a forty hour work week job just to pay rent, <laughs> while I did nothing. Yeah, and sat there and was just like, whatever. You and know, then, yeah, and I um, I I want to say I sometimes worry that I feel like I'm the one that doesn't do anything because I have the part time job. But you and do like, so much though. Okay, well, thank you. Yeah, <laughs> no, <laughs> but, don't worry about uh, it. But like, yeah, so like, I don't know, yeah, because I do know that like, um, I can definitely understand like, uh, but I guess yeah, the thing is for his life, he doesn't really want to do much like other than the things that make him happy, I guess, which I guess is weed and video games, yeah, and working at Jersey Mike's the part time, which honestly, thirty to thirty five hours is kind of close to a full time job, so he. Sure, he could and there's also. nothing wrong at working at Jersey Mike's and there's nothing yeah. wrong with being a homebody but when you know your girlfriend is like hey I really want to go out and do stuff and you're like no you just go no that's not being that's in a, a relationship problem. yeah that's not working together as a unit no so yeah there there needs to be an exit plan and I definitely understand like you gotta break up with him but you don't want him to move out immediately because you would feel devastated without all the stuff and I understand that until what is it like Three or four months from now, I think. Yeah, I think said, so. Like um, May, June, July ish. Yeah. Um, and it'll be good when your friend can move in. I think in my advice would be to hang out more with your friends. Yes. Yeah. Continue to stay with your friends and go out more. And it is really difficult. Like I've had a friendship where I've lived with them, and sort of the relationship is over <laughs> at yeah. some point, and you still have to like. I've had to try to plan an exit plan from that situation. And um, it's hard because like mm. I had to figure out how to spend my time not interacting with them because it was such a drain on my mental health. Yeah. To, like deal with them ignoring me. You know what I mean? And uh, it just it was really fucking hard and it is hard. But like call up your friends and be like, hey, let's go out go out tonight let's, let's go, go right out now. yeah i want to go out i'm not gonna even ask my boyfriend if i if he's okay with me going out i'm going out yeah i'm gonna make a plan for the weekend like i'm gonna go out i'm gonna travel i'm gonna go, I'm gonna go hike this weekend yeah i'm gonna go hike i'm gonna do this hike i'm gonna call my yeah, friends to do that. Yeah, the good thing is you have a very easy hobby to differentiate yourself from your boyfriend which is going outside and doing stuff you yeah know? for sure and like if you enjoy that stuff i mean fuck it like yeah just go out for a hike and fuck like it, prepare it. for like an entire day it's gonna be it's it is gonna suck being alone but uh, the, no it's gonna absolutely it, be all trash this is gonna suck yeah and you're gonna need a support system yes that's what and that's the why point i need the friends yeah you need your friends to be there for you and be like really honest with your friends and be like yeah hey, listen my relationship is not working out he's he's got something and he's just not gonna deal he's with not it. doing anything he's not going to therapy he's not yeah. taking active steps so i just i think i'm gonna break up with my boyfriend yeah. and it's gonna really bother me it's gonna really like hurt me Especially with my grandfather yeah. having cancer, my mom beating cancer, which is great that she beat cancer. That's congrats, yeah. But I do understand the stress. The stress of having to go through that and then, yeah, with another, yeah, it is. Oh, Feeling man. like cancer is just like in your life all the time. Yeah. Oh, Sucks God. Sucks ass. And I'm yeah. so sorry. And you should have a boyfriend that is That's supporting supportive. you through that. Yeah. But you don't. And my mom's you know, having cancer. The response shouldn't be whatever. I'm Cod's gonna... on. <laughs> I gotta play FIFA. I gotta play FIFA. <laughs> and, and then tomorrow, it's Super Bowl Sunday, and we're watching all of it except the halftime show. He's definitely got something going on. Yeah. Like, I don't want to say, like, I don't want to just dog no, on yeah, this no. man. And yeah, that's why I, I really, I do, yeah, I think, like, yeah, I'm not gonna say his lifestyle is bad. Because It's just incompatible. I've so been there, too. I've been yeah, the type of person. Yeah, I wanna play video games. I wanna play video games Yo, and smoke like, weed all day. Literally, if, like, yeah, our fucking podcast blew up to the point where this we're was the only out. thing we would have to do, we're no, never going out. We're two home homebodies. We though. are homebodies, yeah. that's the thing. We gotta, you gotta find someone that matches Yeah, you. exactly. Yeah. We do the podcast at home. 
I yeah. edit it one day, release it the next day. We next plan five days, I'm sitting in front out. of the TV jerking off the yeah. fucking the dog from <laughs> Animal Crossing. It doesn't matter, right? Or that fuck slut. Yeah, the fuck slut. Yeah, that cat fuck slut. Yeah, I, I go on TikTok. <laughs> I just type in Anka and then just scroll and. You type in fuck slut and you get Anka. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, but yeah, no, So man. yeah, like, I don't know. Yeah, I think his lifestyle is just an incompatibility. Yeah, I don't, I don't, he needs help. You're not going to be the one, sadly, to get him the help because he's not going to. Because you've gonna, tried and he you've said tried no. You've tried and he said no. So it's like, yeah, okay. All right. I've done all I could. That's the I'm answer. Out. That is the answer sometimes. Yeah. And it really sucks ass because when you love someone like that, especially when it's the first person, you really don't want to give it up. Yeah, yeah, I totally get that. But you're gonna be so much happier. happier once you're out and like with your friends, and you're gonna be able to find someone that actually is with your compatibilities and like enjoys your hobbies. And maybe it's a wake up call for this guy too. That is true. Yeah, you know, maybe you are helping him by being like, ah, "I'm not doing this." Anymore. Yeah. So you know, in the in the in a save the cat, you have to be the the you're the guy. You have to have the dark have night to, of yeah, the soul the before the you. Soul. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, but solved it, dude. Solved it, man. I'm gonna go fucking snort some Dayquil because my throat is killing me. <laughs> Do you think YouTube's gonna demonetize us for drug use if I take Dayquil? If it does, it's fucking. Actually, no drugs are allowed on. <laughs> if it does demonetize us for saying that, then you can like um, ADR the c word in, <laughs> and I'll be like, fine, demonetize us. Then Fuck I get it. to use the c word. Yeah, straight up, man. Patreon.com forward slash APWSGR if you want to see up. us. If you want to see us popping pills, mm. it's literally, it is Dayquil severe. You guys can see it, all right? Jesus, if I can open it. I'm a kid, apparently, because these kid proof. you want me to do it? Yeah, can you do it? I don't have any fingernails. Yeah, I feel that. Remember the episode of APWSGR where they took five minutes to open up a Dayquil pouch because Josh got sick? It was not, it was not um obvious. So. Okay, thank you. I appreciate it. Yeah. All right, hold well, on. All right, so what's the next story you got for us? <laughs> next story. <laughs> pills are fucking huge. Jesus. Yeah, I know. They cool pills are insane. They're like fish oil. Yeah. All okay. Right. Am I the asshole for yelling at my boyfriend to get off his ass and make dinner? I think I saw this one and I chose not to do it. Really? It is pretty bad. I'm ready, though. Let's okay. go. This is a perfect contrast to the previous listener. All right, let's go. Okay. My... Female 25, boyfriend, male 25, has gotten into a lazy streak, and it's super frustrating. <clears throat> he trudges around all the time, despite having zero reason to be tired. Well, okay, hold on. Doesn't, amper, 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 doesn't answer simple questions, and has his dumbass, and has this dumbass mopey look on all the time. Yeah, this is why I chose not to do this one. <laughs> I'm really getting sick of his new attitude. I came home after a long day of work today learn how to write you're gonna be like this and my boyfriend didn't even go to work today at all he called in sick and he's not even sick he literally just slept all day he's not a good capitalistic worker <laughs> the dishes were still in the sink and he was just sleeping around on the couch and there was no dinner ready i was so pissed off because i just had a long day so i went over to him and screamed at him to get off his ass and make dinner i knew this may have been harsh but i'm sick of him acting so useless why am I doing this one? <laughs> then he, he had the nerve to start crying and I told him to stop the drama and please just make some food and take care of the dishes so we can eat. He agreed and finally did so. While I'm not super proud of my outburst, he's been pushing my limits lately and he needs to do his job. He's on thin fucking ice. Since the <laughs> having depression and shit. Yeah. Can you call someone ableist for doing this? Yes. This is ableist, right? Yeah. If you literally, if you, for no reason, quote unquote, start being acting depressed, yeah, it's right? a fucking mental illness. Damn. Yeah. Yeah. The fucking, yeah. Since the dinner fiasco. Funny. <laughs> fiasco. Since the hubbubaloo about the dinner. <laughs> Since all this horseplay about dinner. Um, he's he's got saying he can't focus. And like can't do anything because he just doesn't fi he, he doesn't feels have overwhelmed all the time and doesn't have any motivation. And I'm like, bitch, shut the fuck, fuck up, up. <laughs> <laughs> bitch. Go take a shit. <laughs> go take a shit, bitch. Okay, Christ. Let's stop. Okay, fucking neurotypical, fucking bitch. <laughs> 
I get to say that. I got. I, you I, do get to say. I get to say yeah. that. I got pills in the other fucking room for ADHD. All right. We I got an appointment on Tuesday. Since, oh really? Okay. Yeah. Cool. Since the dinner fiasco, he's gone all cold with me and has stopped talking to me even more than usual, which I think is a slight overreaction when he caused the entire situation initially. Am I looked I at asshole? his uh, Google search history and he started looking up <laughs> knives and guns. And uh, how to tie a noose. How to kill my girlfriend. How to kill myself, really. <laughs> how to commit murder, suicide. Yeah, and get um, away with it. I guess it's the suicide part that allows you to get away with it. Yeah, I guess so. Yeah. It's truly um, the only way to get away from the cops. After. Yeah. Um, fucking. <sighs> yeah, what do we even say about this one? Other than go fuck yourself. You need to be launched into the sun. <laughs> Fucking, uh, the, uh, you're everything wrong with this country for a hundred, Alex. So, <laughs> <laughs> oh, Alex. <laughs> Sorry, Ken. Yeah, you want me to say uh, Ken Jennings? Yeah, exactly. I don't want to think about Ken Jennings yeah, right now. Yeah, I know, yeah. But fucking. So I wanted to read this because, like, it's sort of a similar situation to the previous one where, like, the but boyfriend. Very is, different, like. That's why I, you shouldn't feel bad. You tried so yeah. hard. You know what I mean? You could just not try and you scream could be at your boyfriend. Yeah, you could be like this. Yeah, you. The other listener did try. You are correct. Yeah, yeah. and this, this is a completely needs a different fucking... situation. Both boyfriends are depressed, obviously. <laughs> yes, but one has tried and one, one tried has and not. Didn't work. The other one is like, I don't want to try. I had a long day at work. And also, even if this person did try previously and is now you know over their limit, that it's never it okay to scream. Scream, at someone. yeah. Jesus, it's never okay to act this way. What a fucking yeah. So, that's yeah. really bad. Uh, okay, so this, I want to read this comment because it's funny. She had a massive freak out at him and has been spitting venom about his state of depression throughout the entire post, calling him a lazy piece of shit and is essentially, but him being silent towards her as a result of her lashing out is an overreaction on his part. She has the emotional intelligence of a fucking egg. <laughs> Fucking solved it, dude. Rare insults, dude. Hell yeah, dude. The emotional intelligence of an egg. Of an egg. 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 Yeah, you know, one time I told um my roommates about my shitty situation with my previous roommate. Yeah. And they said that she had the communication skills of a calculator. <laughs> <laughs> I thought that was really that funny. That is really good shit. All right. <laughs> fucking fucking hell, dude. All right. You ready for this one? Yeah. This one's a good one. Yeah. This comes to us from Woody. Woody? She, her. I think uh, she brought a coffee last time, so thank you, Woody. Oh, thanks, Woody. Yeah. Hey, y'all. Hey, y'all. Got a goofy one for you. Ooh. I'll preface by saying this is both the silliest and most impactful thing that has happened in my life, okay. but lighthearted. Sorry if it's uber long, but I hope it's good content for you cuties. Oh, thank you. Trigger warning, manipulative ex, oh. body shaming, kinda, oh. and talks of sexy stuff, kinda. Oh, yeah, the sexy stuff is what I was like, score. <laughs> I was like, yeah, let's go. Back in the day, about four years ago, I was 22 and I had this boyfriend who would get occasionally jealous. I wasn't the jealous type, so sometimes I had a hard time predicting what would set him off, and it would result in fights. Well, one day he got mad at me for two things. Dressing provocatively, and oddly enough for having a, quote, communist poster... It was actually a poster about unionization and was my actually my roommate's who was almost never home because he worked on the road a lot. But my boyfriend thought it was mine and he was not a fan. To be honest, I don't even know didn't even know what communism was at the time. Mm -hmm. I was too busy doing hot girl shit. Now I do and shit's dope. Communism is hot girl shit. That is so. true, yeah. Yeah. Anyways, instead of leaving him like I should have, I went to my comfort zone. Writing fanfics about hot ass anime dudes. You're awesome. I had written fanfics for as long as I could remember, and no one in the world ever read a word of what I wrote. But almost everyone in my circle knew I was unashamedly obsessed with hot anime characters. Hell yeah. I would even draw characters as pinups and make bank off of it sometimes. Fuck but yeah. they never knew I wrote fanfics because it was more of a vent for me, sexually and therapeutically. So naturally, these were locked tightly away in a diary app with a password on my phone. You had to really dig for it. Well... One night, I roll over and saw my boyfriend quickly put something down and pretend to be asleep. I immediately knew he was on my phone, but hey, I didn't do shit. Fan behavior. And I kind of felt relieved because maybe he would feel better knowing I had nothing to hide. So I went back to sleep. Rongo Dongo. 
I the next day, he started stonewalling me, which was common when I did a bad thing. So uh, I pressed him until he finally sta- snapped, and the conversation went something like this. Him, I found your notes. Me, okay, it's just my password's in there, so what? Him, no, not those notes, the other notes. Me, question mark, question mark, question mark, smiley face, question mark, question mark, question mark. I started in blankly till he took my phone and demonstrated his path of action. Fucking weird showing you how you hacked into someone. Showing fucking, you his POA. Yeah. POV hacking into your phone. POV <laughs> showing you his POA. Yeah. <laughs> God. Uh, he unlocked my phone, scrolled to that last to the last home screen fa- page, opened the app folder, scrolled to the second page of that, and clicked the diary app. I instantly slapped the phone out of his hand and launched it to the floor before he could put the password in. All I can say is the most prominent emotion I felt in that moment was embarrassment. These fanfics were not written with grace or even half a brain cell. It was always horny keyboard mashing till it got to the hot parts of the story. And the stories themselves, if you can even call them that, were shameless self-insert fanfics. I was writing myself in them. Legal name, social security number, blood type, and all. Oh, damn. Some were so self-indulgent they'd even have, quote, meet the parents parts. Like, I was just living my life in a locked diary app. You are so awesome. I was writing this stuff like God himself couldn't even see my sin. Once I came back down to earth, all I could ask him was how. How did he know where this was and how to get in? Then, with all the exasperated, exhausted, disappointed disappointed boyfriend energy in the world, he sighed and said, Woody, the password was 0420. Darn, I didn't think that through. I just chose a character's birthday and didn't even think about ha-ha weed number at all. Says a lot about me, though, that he was able to guess without, without locking the app, the app from too many failed attempts. Wow. But I was still confused as to why he was mad. It was just fan fiction, and my whole life and, and my family and my whole life, my family and friends have supported or at least shrugged it off as comedic that I spent so much of my free time fawning over fictional men. Because they're not so, this abusive. So I genuinely didn't think I was hiding anything bad other than my own personal smut. God bless you. Rongo Dongo Part Two. He said it was practically cheating. What? We fought back and forth for a while about it, and I will admit, yes, at one point in a story, one of the anime boys called my ex, quote, a douchebag, and he <laughs> took that personally. <laughs> Even if it was it was venting to myself, I shouldn't call my boyfriend that. Fuck him. This is just malicious, but he seemed way more bothered about the smut. Have you ever had one of those moments in a relationship where it clicks in your brain and you're like, oh, you're actually objectively a bad person, aren't you? Yeah. Well, out of all the stuff he did, him saying no hot anime boys was my deal breaker. Yeah, I would be a deal breaker for me, too. Shortly after we broke it off and I walked away, realizing I had ended a long term relationship over him not letting me write smut of me in anime characters. Not the body shaming, not the breach of privacy, none of that. Now I could put up with that, apparently, but I'm way happier now. Nice. Actually, this is where it gets good and we can have a happy ending for a change. Hell yeah. Now I'm happily married to that leftist roommate and I'm seven months pregnant with his kiddo. Yeah. After my boyfriend moved out, the roommate wor- with the union poster stopped working on the road and was home more often. Me and Mac had actually known each other for more than 10 years, but we're never that close, but we started hanging out and ended up dating. He unionized. He taught me, so- yeah, he unionized, yeah. He taught me so much cool shit like how to run and work on, ride and work on motorcycles, run a farm, what? raise chicken, and build shit with my own two what? hands. He he's dope. L- yeah, he's literally better than any anime boy I could think of. Oh, cute. Even when I told him about that incident with the ex-boyfriend, he laughed and said, you were earning how much drawing smut? What do you could save the farm with that kind of money? He still pokes and prods me about going full time and funding our farm with the anime ding dong. We love a supportive husband. Thinking back on the story, it makes me laugh how none of my life would be where it is now if it weren't for that boyfriend pulling the goofiest shit of my life. That's funny. But I never shake this feeling of, uh, I can never shake this feeling that what I did was slightly wrong or at least weird. Not but it. I guess my question is, is it weird to write self insert fanfics of you and fictional characters no. when you're in a closed relationship? No. Sorry for the long post, but thank you both. I adore your show, and it keeps uh, it keeps me entertained when I'm laid up in bed grinding Persona 3 dungeons and getting my ribs kicked by the little buddy in my belly. Aww. All the power and love to y'all. P.S. Yeah. We need more golden retriever men like Josh and my hot, stupid husband. Uh, hot stud husband. Sorry. <laughs> hot, stupid <laughs> husband. stupid husband. P.S. We need more golden retriever men like Josh and my hot stud husband in the world to keep making the world a better place, guys. Uh, yeah, if that's cheating, I cheat on Sarah all the time with all the porn I watch. <laughs> 
And same, yeah. Yeah. I cheated on you by telling you to send me a TikTok of that a hot true. lady. That is true. Yeah. So yeah. literally on my TikTok, uh, sometimes I'll get like thirst traps. Because you always talk about I'm, how you get hot boobies on your hot, TikTok. I got big booby women. And I'm like, why don't I get big booby women? And then I'm like, show me the big booby women. And we finally found Not one in a Sarah. controlling way, but in like a, where are they? I want to find Sarah them. Sarah literally yanked the phone out of my hand and started scrolling like boobs, 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 boobs. boobs, boobs. Uh, no, yeah, you're not cheating. No, it's your own self-insert fan fiction. Yeah. That's not cheating. No. No. I don't even think it's there's fake. a- It's fake. It's fake. Yeah, that's like really- You're not even talking to anyone. I think the worst thing is maybe calling him a douchebag, but I'm like, eh, you called him a douchebag one time in your diary that no one would see. Yeah, I don't know. I think you can vent. Yeah, I think you're fine. I think Sarah has every right to call me an asshole. <laughs> you I think know? I have, and I think you've called me a bitch, too. Yeah. I don't care. <laughs> I've never, I've never called you that, you fucking bitch. <laughs> I mean, we jokingly we call each joke, other yeah, bitch we joke all the about time. It, yeah, but I'm like, but I mean, you know, I mean, that's our repertoire. Yeah. So like, I don't know, like fucking, yeah. I don't. That's not cheating. Yeah. That's honestly, no. I can't think of any universe, bro. I had a dream that I cheated on Josh on Valentine's Day, actually. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and I was like, and I had nothing sexual even happened. I just got into a car with another man. And then I woke up feeling guilty about it. And I was like, I cheated on you in a dream. And Josh yeah. was like, shut the fuck up, bitch. Who cares? <laughs> Dumbass. Who gives a shit? I don't fucking care. So you're Suck right. My dick. We do need more. <laughs> Suck my fucking dick today, it's bitch. It's Valentine's Day, dude. Come on. Suck my fucking Suck dick, my dude. Suck my dick, dude. <laughs> 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 yeah, who gives a shit? Yeah. You know? Who fucking cares? So you're so right. We do need more hot, uh, fluffy, gamer, golden retriever guys like josh i'm not a golden retriever guys I'm you're depressed. the dog from scrubs yes i'm suicide <laughs> <laughs> i'm just waiting to fucking die every time i come on this show no you don't you just don't like taking compliment no i i like uh mm. w see i enjoy it when you get compliments more because then i have a reason to be so fucking down <laughs> So if you got compliments, I will say, yeah, getting compliments all the time and then getting sad feels like, what am I doing this for? You know, what am I fucking doing this for? Yeah. Oh. But no, yeah, you're not the asshole. No, everybody should Solved compliment it. Josh. Make him feel like he can't be sad because he's send me send me the send me the fan the fanfic drawings you do. Yeah, me too. I send me some big booby anime ladies. Send me the penis ones and the big boobies too. If you do that, what are you fucking gay? <laughs> Fuck. Look at me. <laughs> Look at me right now and ask me if I'm gay. I'm wearing a crocheted beanie that I made myself. Am I the asshole for commenting affectionately on a friend's weight? Commenting on weight, yes, does make you an asshole. Yeah. I'm 19 female in a friend group of three people. One of my friends is a gamer who mostly hangs with us through Discord. We'll call her Lena. The other is my severely overweight fuck you. <laughs> oh shit. Am um, I gonna do this one? You can skip it. You can cut it. It's not too late. I do like it. Okay, let me finish this sentence. The other is my severely overweight friend. We'll call her Denise. It's a funny name. Denise. Denise. We're all the same age. I have always been the pretty one out of our friend group. Do we do this one? Because I'm going to get real mad, I feel like. <laughs> Me too. I'm going to get super mad, actually. I have some following on TikTok and Instagram solely because of my looks. I have an incredibly toned body because of the gym. Plus, I'm blonde with blue eyes, so that helps. All right, Nazi. Uh, <laughs> Lena is just a skinny Asian girl with short hair and no makeup. She's badass in her own way. Denise is very chubble with freckles and stretchy skin. She's honestly very cute, but she is somewhat insecure about her weight. Lena likes to poke fun at me for being a plastic Barbie doll and constantly makes jokes about how shallow I am. Yeah, because you suck. Yeah. We banter a lot, so I don't take it personally. I also joke about how she's a tomboy wannabe and pick me girl due to her mainly masculine interests. You all sound like the like you're written I by hate, a man. Yeah. Yeah. Women written by men. <laughs> Denise doesn't really participate in these types of discussions because she's better than us because she <laughs> stated that she doesn't like mocking people's looks. Because she wouldn't want someone to mock hers. Denise is better than all of us. De Denise is God. Denise is God, you're, yes. You are talking with Jesus Christ. You're <laughs> going to be the Judas. You're going to sell out Jesus Christ yeah. for like $30 or however much he did. For a couple TikTok likes. 
what how how much money was it that judas sold jesus christ out for i don't remember it was like 20 bucks you can get a whole pizza with that i know he was like whoa dominoes <laughs> <laughs> waiting Whoa, for I can wait, get Domino's oh, today? Yo, Fuck wait, yeah. waiting for the Domino's Judas ad. <laughs> Sorry. So good that you'd sell out your best friend. Friend, yeah. And then and that's so funny to think because then Jesus is like, I know I know you sold me out for Domino's. Gives you a little kiss. Yeah. I love that. I thought she was taking our jokes too personally and probably projecting because of her weight issues. Honestly, you fuck yourself, Jesus. <laughs> Denise doesn't really participate in these types of discussions because she stated that she doesn't like mocking people's looks because she wouldn't want someone to mock hers. I thought she was taking our jokes too personally and probably projecting because of her weight issues. Honestly, Denise has been very depressed lately and her attitude has been sort of killing the vibe. <laughs> Is that literally what it says? Mm hmm. I decided to host a get together for the three of us so Denise could have some fun. We met at my house to play board games and talk about social media. Denise wasn't having any of it. She just wasn't engaged. Especially when it started going into us mocking each other's looks and shit. No shit. She said that she doesn't like that. So yeah, crazy so then yeah, that she doesn't like it. A depressed person being like, guys, I don't like this. Okay. Let's start doing it while you're here in front of us. What a fucking asshole already, Jesus. I wanted Denise to have some fun, so I said something of the lines of why don't you join me at the gym so you could be a hashtag skinny legend? We could be the tummy rolls destroyers. I was also mocking myself since I've also gained a weight a bit recently because of Christmas, Valentine's oh, so gaining Day. gaining weight is bad. And my birthday just constantly feasts. Denise told me to fuck off and told my mom about it. <laughs> awesome. Denise yeah. and my mom Actually get along based. pretty well. <laughs> They talked about it and Denise left to go home. My mom told me to grow up and to not make jokes like that. And I told her we make jokes like that all the time. Hell yeah. Based mom, actually. Lena thought I was funny and she's on my side and thinks Denise is overreacting. My mom keeps pressuring me to apologize. Am I the asshole? Yes. Yo, yeah. do I sound like this when I go to the gym? Do I actually? I hope no, not. No, 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 Okay, no. good. Because Christ. Because like, okay, I'll say, okay, you so. You just like going to the gym. Yeah, I like, I do like working out, but like. Which is these amazing. People, these people are like the reason why I I'm like I I hope I never become this because like uh because like okay because like first of all asshole obviously the yeah, asshole I, I, I think uh, from the, another fucking planet yeah yeah like okay so my I okay I hate people. Uh, first of all, like, fuck you for, like, also, like, trying to say that, like, because you're, like, you have these looks, you have, like, this TikTok following and, like, bragging, like, mm -hmm. in the post. And then, like, also, like, ruining the vibe, the shit. All your language is so, like, passive aggressive in yeah. how you write it. It's such a fucking, yeah. fuck you. All right. Second of all, you're the, you're the worst type of person because of, you see the gym and you see, like, losing weight as, like, a good thing. When in reality, I, <sighs> Weight's just like, okay, like, if you're if you're overweight, quote-unquote, you just have a lot of fat content in your body, you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. The only thing that really fucking matters to me, and I'm not, like, a dietitian, I'm not an expert, I'm not a fucking right, right, nerd right. about fitness. Yeah. I, you know, I really, I feel like I, like, I, uh, if I tell people, like, go to the, if you go to the gym, the real reason is, like, I feel like just overall health is what's important. Yeah, yeah, I think so like, too. Like, you know, going... I don't think going to the gym is bad. Yeah, but, like, there's there's people out there like this. Yeah. And I feel like... It's not a majority. I feel like it's a very vocal minority of, like, the people that, like, try to pressure people to go to the gym just specifically to lose weight. It's complex, this issue. It's a very complex issue, because, like... It's... And specifically with teenage girls like this that are skinny, that believe in being skinny and skinny is good, whatever. Yeah, and it's also don't know like how much their fucking genetics and metabolism. That too, yeah. That's yeah. a lot of, I mean, adults don't even know about that. Like yeah. recently there was a study about diabetes and um, uh, weight gain and overweight shit, how it was more of a genetic thing than anything. Yeah. Um, and obese, being obese as a disease, a disease is a genetic thing. Yeah. And um, that really has put people like on their heads because they don't have the ability to just say like, just stop Goodness. eating big burger and fry. <laughs> uh, I'm sorry. Actually, uh, just go to gym. You know, there was a TikTok that I love and I'm just going to reenact it because I love him. Yeah. And don't make this into a TikTok because I don't want to steal from him. Whoever made it was really good. Um, it's people, how people think losing weight works when her, how fat phobic people think losing weight works. And it's like, Hey man, you lost all that weight. What did you do? Well, you see, um, I just ate 
you know, before I lost weight, I just ate big burger and fry every day, <laughs> big burger and fry every day with big soda pop. And <laughs> Just one day I ran a mile and ate one salad and now I'm skinny. Yeah. yeah. It's a moral failing. <laughs> it's a moral failing of society. And it's just like, no, man, no, obviously yeah. not. It's rooted in the patriarchy. It's rooted in white supremacy. It is. Yeah. It is that to be the most perfect body that yeah, you can be to very... be consumed by men. Yeah. It's rooted in those things. Yeah, and I mean, teenage girls saying that shit—they're going to be because they're under the most scrutiny of their life. Yeah, and it's fucking awful. <laughs> and I Jesus. feel bad for you know, I I feel bad for everyone involved. Yeah, no, there's no real winner here. Whoever no. wins, we lose. You know what I mean? Like whoever taught these girls that being skinny is the end all be all. Yeah, is that's all you can achieve at last <laughs> is being skinny. Yeah, yeah, ridiculous. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah. And that's why, like, I don't know. I, I feel like sometimes I feel I this is why I sometimes talk about going to the gym in such a way that's like, you don't do any of this weight. Honey. You don't yeah. do any of this. Because like the 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 really the the thing that sucks is like, I do think that like there is a shitty quality of like, and this is like, this is so detached from the story. Fuck this person, whatever. Yeah, we all know. Yeah, whatever. This is a platform I, I for think, us to talk about shit. Yeah, yeah. So like, I feel like I think. Uh, the gym is such a positive thing, right? I think it is yeah, a good I thing. Yeah, I think so too. It, because I don't fuck weight. I don't. Who cares? Talk Heart about health. Weight. Yeah. Let's talk about. Let's talk about your cardio. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Let's talk about yeah. the ability to lift things and not have arthritis. You know what I mean? Like preventative health. It's kind of like, uh, you know, it's really like uh, if there's, I would genuinely think like a ten dollar Planet Fitness membership is probably a a really good thing if you have the ability to get it grab it and go to the gym once a week high key yeah even once a month is better than not at all just to like walk on the treadmill for a little bit or even do the elliptical and even if you want to lose weight that's fine yeah that's fine you can that's do whatever okay. you want yeah who care i don't give a shit i don't fucking care that's but that's the situation that's the thing your body and your health is your decision it's that's your between decision. you yeah. and your doctor you know yeah, what i mean exactly and so, like that's technically the thing too, because like you don't want to lose so much weight that like you're underweight too, because that's no. that's well, like way fucking worse. A like personal anecdote: my dad one time was like, "I'm gonna lose a bunch of weight," and he lost a hundred pounds in a year. Yeah, um, by just eating beans and rice. Jesus. And he looked like a fucking. He was technically a healthy weight. He looked like a fucking skeleton. Yeah, because like there's a certain point where like yeah yeah, and like body mass index is bullshit. Like yes, fucking, it is. You know, don't literally, come like, yeah, shit. all I care about is fucking blood. Because, <laughs> yeah. like, yeah, because, like, I, I'm like, uh, what is it? I'm not pre diabetic, but I'm last time I checked, I was kind of close. Like, I was like really? on the higher end of like having a blood sugar, I think, or something like well, that. But we eat like shit. Yeah. Yeah. We do eat like shit. So, like, that was like my wake up call of like, oh, okay, I need to take a multivitamin because I'm low on vitamin D. And also, I need to work out a little bit more. Yeah. And also, I work at a job that's very manually stressful. So, like, yeah, doing, yeah, yeah. like, workout every once in a while helps, you know? And I definitely need to get back into exercising. Exercising for me is difficult because I grew up with a mom that was in Weight Watchers. And sort of... <laughs> yeah, right? My it's, it's... relationship... I've been on treadmills and on ellipticals since I was, like, 12. Because that's the thing. Like, mainstream, like... Yeah mainstream fitness is only about losing weight yeah and it's fucking ridiculous yeah it, it's, it's about muscle growth it's about fucking you gotta lose weight you it sucks only, cause I you don't, have to be a toned body and it's I don't so know fucking stupid I don't know how to have a good relationship with food you know yeah. now I don't know how to prepare healthy meals cause I was never taught that I only have a relationship with exercise and meals that are like it's an emotional relationship and mm. it's also like Something where I go to exercise, I try it, I would like it, it makes me feel better because it's good for me. And yeah, then exercise I is good for everybody, yeah. Because I'm just like, I don't have the ability, I feel over, you know, self-conscious about my weight, which is a me thing, it's not anybody no, yeah, making yeah, me no, feel I, that I way. Get you. Yeah. Self-conscious about being, the per being slower than other people there, you know, and because I have those mental things at the gym, it makes me not want to go to the gym. Mm. And... Re reality is going to the gym is good for you. Yeah. It's not about being the prettiest person in the gym. Yeah, that's fuck that. 
It's not about how boring of a person I do you know. have to be that like I'm gonna go to Crush Fitness and be the hottest motherfucker there. And I've evolved now to the point because I've dealt with this my whole life. I've been fat since I was born. I was yeah. born at like eight pounds. Like it was like way too much for a baby. Yeah, my. <laughs> Like uh, you know, my birth announcement shit was a was a, a printed out Hershey bar wrapper that said "Here she is." Wow, I was Fucking destined wow. to have diabetes, <laughs> and that's just it has a been thing. decided so that Sarah will have diabetes, die of these beaties. Okay, but yeah. Okay, but yeah, you yeah, know, no, it's like, just it's it's such a fucking I don't know. So I've yeah, evolved I, to the point now where it's not that something like, I read something like this and it doesn't hurt me. That's good. Because yeah. it's like fucking who cares? You guys are dumb. You're That's what it is. Yeah, it really low, is a sign of a lower level of att- immaturity. You're going to grow up, you're going to become mature, you're going to think about these things. You're either going to have a worse opinion and not grow up or you're going to actually you know, but I guess fat people don't need to teach you that shit. No, yeah, uh, yeah. You know, I'm not going to be out here going to be talking about, I don't know, I don't need to do that. I'm trying to live my damn fat life. Yeah. That's it. Hell yeah. But yeah, what an asshole. Yeah. Solved it. And also, I've been to doctors and none of them have ever said that my weight has impacted anything. Yeah, right. They've only so, like, ever fucking... said, like, you might develop something in the future. Well, you might get it on, but nothing's happened yet, so you're good. <laughs> like, my blood work has always been perfect, whatever. Every time I get a disease, every time I have something wrong with me, I ask the doctor, is it because of my weight? And they say, nah, it's nah, probably nah. genetics. It's probably fucking genetics this time. Yeah, like fucking... I had a fucking... I have a fucking genetic eye disorder. Oh, yeah. I went to the fucking vision doctor because my vision's been getting bad. And I legit have been thinking for the past, like, two years, my vision is getting bad because I might have, like, undiagnosed diabetes or something. Because I'm so paranoid about that. Which is a bad symptom of being overweight. Yeah, I need to lose weight to not have that whatever... I've been thinking I have bad eyesight. I go to the doctor and he goes, yeah, you have this like, uh, what is it, Krukenberg spindles, which is like a, your eye secretes uh, uh, like the shit in your eye and it, it has like a okay, pig- it has a chance to like, yeah. It has a pigment in your eye and it has a, it has a chance of like fucking up your eye pressure and uh, developing glaucoma. And I was like, oh, what causes that? Being like, is it because of Because I just knew in my heart, I was like, ooh, this is going to be... I knew uh, in my cholesterol filled heart that this was gonna be something. He's gonna he's gonna write you a prescription for your eyes and then be like, well, also here's a gym membership. No, legit. Like a fucking, yeah. You, sometimes you go to the doctor and you have shitty eyes and they're like, you need to go to the actual doctor to see if you have diabetes. That's yeah. sometimes a thing. So I was thinking that's what's gonna happen because I'm fat and I've been beaten up to think I'm to gonna think have this, diabetes. Yeah. And uh, this guy goes, no, <laughs> it's genetic. Just genetic. Yeah. That's it. It's genetic. Fucking crazy, man. I have a fucking separate thing. Yeah, completely separate. Fucking crazy, man. The only doctor I've been to in the last couple of years that has not mentioned my weight has been an eye doctor. (laughs) And I've been to multiple psychs about this. Oh my god, dude. You know what I mean? Yeah, I feel that. Fucking crazy. Solved it, though. Solved it. Nice. All right, buckle the fuck up, Sarah. Okay, fine. Buckle the fuck up. I'm buckling. So, I'm going to see how long it takes for you to remember this, because if it takes you less than two sentences, uh, you're going to get you get nothing. Okay. All right. <laughs> but let's see. So, uh, buckle up. Okay. This next story comes to us from Glue, she, her. Okay. Hi, Sarah. I'm uh, Hi, Sarah and Josh. I thought. Just Sarah. Hi, Sarah. Just me. You know. Yeah. Josh is reading these. Hi, Sarah and Josh. I'm Glue 21 She Her, and I submitted the story about not liking a coworker in episode 146. Not liking. Is that the one with the coworker with the HR? From two episodes ago. Oh, maybe not. Okay, never mind. It's the, the coworker that was uh, bullied basically out of their job. Oh, yeah. Wow, yeah. Yeah, okay. 
I'm writing this as sort of a follow-up to my last submission. Okay. I think, I think I went through all the stages of grief hearing you guys react to that story, and now I'm pretty embarrassed that I even said it to you in the first place. Oh. Hearing two people separate from the situation talk about it has given me a lot of perspective. I'm also not employed at that cafe full-time anymore, so I've been able to think about the situation with some distance to, from the people who were involved in it. Yeah. That's good. That's, I'm proud That's of you. That's good. Because honestly, that place seems like a pretty toxic work environment. Yeah, and yeah. I... Yeah. And, yeah. Go ahead. But yeah. okay. To clarify on a few points... Myself and other coworkers had conversations with Cabbages during our time working with her about how the extent of how much she talked about her personal life was too much for the workplace. Right. And these conversations, she would say she understood, but would continue talking about her personal okay, life. Okay, so she she violated your boundaries. Yeah. yeah. Initially, I would try to correct her when she was doing something incorrectly at work. After a while, because of everything that was happening, I stopped. Okay. I agree with you that the customer without a mask should have been wearing one. I guess at the time, I thought it was an overreaction on Cabbages' part. I want to clarify that I don't think you need a, a diagnosis of something to have for you to have it. The yeah. way I said it in, the, in my submission was dumb. I made that point more or, or to say that she attributed to us disliking her to ableism as if it couldn't be for any other reason. That makes sense. Looking back, I can see how it may have been some kind of internalized ableism. We were in, in, ignorant for thinking it wasn't at least a possibility. I didn't go to HR for a couple of reasons. Honestly, because I have never made a complaint against a coworker before to upper management. And I was kind of scared of what would happen if I did. And because uh, I had found my work's HR department to be unreliable in the past, HR is one person because the company I work for is relatively small. This other person doesn't often doesn't adhere to pr procedure or communicate with employees very well. Honestly, sometimes going to HR is not a good thing. So I get that. I thing. can understand yeah. that too. Other coworkers had complained to our manager about Cabbage, in which our manager had a couple meetings with her. Beyond that, nothing really happened. I should have just said something to Cabbage or sent an email to HR anyways, instead of running, letting my resentment towards her build and come out in shitty ways. Go ahead. That's fair. Yeah. I'm sure there's more I need to clarify, but I can't watch the clip of you guys reacting to that story without feeling ashamed. It's okay, honey. It's okay. Yeah, it's all right. I'm sorry. Yeah. That's my fuck up. <laughs> yeah. I, I shouldn't have picked that story. That's on me. Yeah. I apologize. At this point, I'm not sure, really sure how to move forward. I understand if you don't put this in because of how bad my last story was, but no. if you would do, I would appreciate your input. Yeah. Around the time I submitted that story to y'all, I stopped working at that, that job full time so I could focus on school. I go in every few weeks or so to cover a shift and I have plans to come back full times in the summer. Like I said in my first mission, there are a lot of things wrong with my employer, but I stay because the money is good and the job is walkable from where I live. Makes sense. Now, I'm not sure if I should go back and if I should say something to the other co-workers who were involved if I do. At this point, I, the dust has settled and we don't talk about cabbage anymore. I think if I were to bring it up again, it would just cause more conflict. Yeah, you don't have to. Yeah, you don't have to bring it up. Yeah. I also think thought about reaching out to cabbage and apologizing, but I don't want to dredge up old feelings for her by messaging her. I really enjoy your podcast and I appreciate you guys keeping listeners such as myself in check. Trying to go up a little more and not act like a stunted teenager because my other coworkers are not enable each other to do so. Thank you for responding to my first story and hopefully reading this one. Yeah, of course, man. Yeah, of course, yeah. Yo, I've been in such a listen. I want to commend you for writing that. Yeah, I, yeah. And thank you for clarifying more. Thank stuff. you for clarifying a lot of stuff. We, I do appreciate it. I have been a shitty fucking person because of a toxic work environment. Oh yeah, same. Yeah. Yeah, I was a shitty person. Like, film was, like, a really bad time. And also in high school, like, I was in a shitty environment. Fucking, I was a shitty person. It Fucking happens. same. I had friends that were really sort of exuded, like, toxic masculinity. And I definitely said a bunch of shit. Josh? Yeah. <laughs> no, no, I definitely said a bunch of shit. Don't ever think that when we say that somebody is an asshole that we think that they're an asshole forever. forever. No, of course not. Even the fucking the ones we've read today where they're like an asshole from another realm and have no empathy, I think they could they could come back. Empathy. Yeah, no, but like okay, so like I, I we all everyone does shitty things and so it, and it's yeah. shitty to do them. Yeah, but like it, it's about growing up and being a different person. I agree everyone with that. Everyone is yeah. done shitty. No yeah. one is Jesus Christ. You know. Yeah. Someone recently reached out to us asking why they our like first ever episodes aren't on anything. And that's because we suck. Because we suck. That's yeah. why. That no. is the, an actual. That's the most legitimate answer I can give you is because I don't want yeah. what I said in the first like twenty plus episodes out on the internet anymore. Yo, I've been in fucking work environments where people are like physically assaulting other people. <laughs> yeah. Awful. Yeah. <laughs> it's terrible. But but if you and stay if you stay around people that physically assault people, you're more likely to start physically assaulting people. Well, I've never physically assaulted someone, but I mean, like, I've been there. I've been friends. Okay, I was friends with the person who like strangled another person at their job, and she was like, "Damn, I fucking strangled that person." And I, she was the person that drove me home, so I had to be like, "You had to be friends, yeah." Uh, don't do There's that a, again. That's some, there is a <laughs> give and take about like, yeah, like I should have done more. Should have gone to HR for sure. But yeah. also, like, you HR do is scary, what you right. do to survive. Exactly. Yeah. And I don't think you should beat yourself up about it. I, I get, do yeah. think you know 
we do have a duty to be like, hey, man, that wasn't cool. Mm -hmm. And it's okay. Most people don't do cool things unless it's like rape or murder. Yeah. Yeah. There's, there is a limit. Yeah. Yeah. And I think, you know, uh, everybody's been a bully in their life, I think. Oh, yeah. For sure. Yeah. Yeah. I just think it's, but it's worth it to think um, about the people who are bullied. Exactly. Yeah. And have empathy for them. Exactly. And that's mostly what our podcast is about is being like, listen, it's all right. If you're an asshole, you're an asshole in the moment. It's a feeling. Yeah. So yeah, it's there's yeah, there's always light at the end of the road. And I think that's one of the things that we want to try and like cultivate, I guess, is like the idea that like uh, people can fuck up. People can do there's shitty redemption. Things. Yeah, there is redemption. And I, again, we do really we do sometimes play it up a little bit. But I do think that pretty much like 99 percent of the time there is a redemption unless like literally someone does something so badly so often so I think, yeah you know even when we're like oh you're sociopathic you know yeah, hey, yeah. we're not diagnosing anyone we're not Socio- diagnosing ba- you know sociopathy is not diagnosed we are not professionals we're not professionals we are even assholes. In, but even we're when assholes. we say something is do is you're doing something sociopathic even if you have that you are not, not like going a, to just be a person that is going to hurt people forever. You're not a cartoon villain. You everyone no. everyone on this planet is no. a three dimensional character in the story yeah. of their own lives. Like I mean, yeah, like we fucking, are the person. You, you, are, you are a person listening and watching. Cabbage was, cabbage fucking, was, you know, glue is, glue everyone is, yeah. is. So yeah, yeah, I, and I guess that's why we say like, okay, think about cabbage's side because yeah, at some, there is a part of bullying is dehumanizing. You know what I mean? That is true. Yeah. You, yeah. There's like a very, like you have to, in order to like go to such a degree, you have to make it, make them seem like a villain or like another creature, you know, they, they stop becoming like a, like a, like a personal pronoun. They become like an it, you know, like an object meant to, so don't uh, don't feel bad. Man. of bullying, you know what I mean? Like yeah, it's fucking, exactly. Yeah, I don't feel bad. I think you, you're. Yeah, don't feel bad at all. A, no. a good person for even like coming back. Most people would just be like, ah, fuck them and leave. And uh, yeah, and you I don't are know, I'm actually why... confronting it, and you're actually open to the uh, idea of being not exactly correct. You know what yeah. I mean? God, how many times am I fucking wrong on this show? Dude, constantly. Every we are episode. Constantly wrong. I said Bluey was a good show. That's wrong. <laughs> it's a great show. <laughs> yeah. It's amazing show. Yeah. But no, yeah, fucking uh yeah. So yeah, fucking thank you for writing in that update. I wanted to leave that in because like I think yeah, that's a, you I know, think that's important to our integrity. Uh, yeah, exactly. No. I'm not gonna read that and be like, yeah, fuck them. Yeah, <laughs> fuck you. Eh. Then you could really be like fuck. I said Josh. you were yeah. a bad person, now you're a bad person forever. You're a bad person forever because you fucking you're trying you to, were mean. You were one mean time one time to a person. I'll fucking kill you. <laughs> no, yeah. So yeah, not yeah, fucking um. You're thank fine. you for yeah, you're fine. Yeah, don't worry about it. Yeah, thank you for writing back to us. We appreciate thank it. Thank you for writing back, and please keep listening. keep watching, keep listening, keep listening. consume, <laughs> consume. Solved it. Solved it. Solved it for good. Mm-hmm. <coughs> Bro, I bullied the shit out of people, man. I've yeah, we bully people every week. On we do. Show. We're like professional We're, bullies. Yeah, we are. Pro- yeah, I feel I feel really bad about it. Yeah, sometimes. Yeah, sometimes I feel like. <laughs> No, I mean, like, actually, I was a bully in, like, elementary school. Oh, yeah, and I And I feel you. bad about yeah. it all the time. Yeah, I think there was, yeah, I was pretty shitty in high school. Yeah. I, was, I get it. I, I feel, yeah. Yeah, so, I don't know, fucking, um. At some point, you just gotta forgive yourself, man. Yeah. And I don't know if I would reach out. I don't know if I would reach out either. I don't know. At some point, it's like. You're just kind of fucking with that person, you know what I mean? Mm. Because I've thought about, like, I I was uh, very... Also, like, listen, I... I, mean, <laughs> I was very fat-phobic to a person in, in middle school. And sometimes I think about him, and uh, I've never told you this either, because it's a really deep shame of me. Do you want to put it out for everybody? Yeah, or? I do, because right. I want to be, like, legit. Like, I was very mean and fat-phobic and very, like, you're fat and making fun of a kid that was overweight hmm. when I was in middle school. And I really, really, really did that. And to, like, be cool with other people... And uh, I feel bad about it all the time, and I think about reaching out to him sometimes, and I just don't, because I'm like, I don't know. What's going to be gained, I guess, you know what I mean? Yeah. It's just going to bring up old memories that I hope, you know. Yeah. Doesn't fuck him up anymore, you know what I mean? I get that. Yeah. Yeah. Nah, I don't blame you at all. Yeah. Yeah. Damn. Damn. Got serious here. Yeah. This is a comedy show. Some real moments here. God. I've done nothing wrong. (laughs) Josh is perfect in every Josh way. Is per- I'm perfect and I'm actually the most perfect. <laughs>
Um. Yeah, no, I'm trying. I'm trying to think of something. How do I? How do I expose myself? What do I do? What, what have I done? I think early on, I I feel like um yeah in our relationship, mm. I uh you I mentioned was, threesomes with Riley Reed a lot. Yeah, I really fucked up the beginning of this relationship. <laughs> No, I was going to say, because, like, on the fat phobic thing, I think I once, like, at your old apartment near uh, the university, oh. there was a point where I made, like, a really dumb, like, in hindsight, very fat phobic joke. And, like, it became, like, kind of a problem for, like, a day or two because, like, uh, I didn't know. I, what is it? I don't even remember it. Wow. I think. Oh, I can't. It happened right before I left. We left to like drop you off at work, so then we Ugh, couldn't talk about it. You bastard! <laughs> yeah, like it was really bad. And then we, I, I know we, we eventually the show wouldn't have existed if we if, uh, we just didn't talk about it. Yeah, but like yeah, like I, I'm trying to. Oh, I, I think it was. Um, I think I said something about like you ballooning up or something. Oh yeah, that was really wow, bad. Wow, you did say that. Yeah, I did say that. That yeah. was crazy. That was man. really bad. That was when I was fresh nineteen, like fucking dumbass. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. That's, and that's funny. why there's no fucking episodes. Yeah, we were terrible. Prior to 2019. No, we're mean people. We yeah. are. Yeah. No. And I, I don't think we've ever said we're perfect people. This podcast is a very much a redemption story for me. <laughs> yeah. No. For sure. Yeah. I can't believe this is anyone me trying. Likes this is what we me say. <laughs> trying to make myself feel like I could at least maybe be redeemed at the end of my life. Of course. Of course. Everyone can. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know, because if you walk around thinking that everyone else is perfect and you're a bad person, like, just be a tr Christian. Yeah, right. <laughs> just be a Catholic. Yeah, so, I don't know, yeah. But, I don't know. Yeah, yeah, I've done shitty things. They're fucking, yeah. I forgot about that. I'm gonna be mad at you now for... <laughs> no, I'm joking. Forever! Forever! I, uh, that's really funny, actually. <laughs> Let's, uh, I gotta go pee now. Should I did get really fat? Yeah, <laughs> you're so right. Uh, <laughs> I think that's oh. the funny part. Was I was so skinny because I was depressed and not eating, and I got really skinny and it was like really scarily skinny. And I trapped you in this relationship and I got really fat. <laughs> Jokes on me. <laughs> I think at the time it was just like, well, you're still fucking me, so it's a weird thing to say. You weren't seriously God. like you need to lose weight. I think you were just like trying to be cute, like, yeah, you ballooned up. Yeah. And but I was, was like, fuck you. Uh, yeah, you weren't like saying, hey, you can't wear that because you're too fat or something. Yeah. You weren't actually doing that. I wasn't like, that's too provocative. Stop wearing that. Your, your, your fat rolls, bad are, rolls showing. are showing. Yeah, no. Too tight. <laughs> too tight of an outfit. You're too fat for that tight outfit. All right. I'll just go for the last story from Sarah. Let's go. Woo! Am I the asshole for asking my girlfriend why she wasn't wearing a necklace I gave her? So today, my girlfriend sent me a picture of her wearing her jewelry set that she chose to wear for the day. I saw that she wasn't wearing the necklace I gave her last week for Valentine's Day. Usually I wouldn't care at all because she switches up her jewelry often and she looks very beautiful and I've given her a necklace before and she would always wear it, but occasionally switch it out for, uh, for a day to wear her mom's jewelry or something else, which is totally fine, of course. But the difference in this is instance is that she said verbatim, I'm never taking it off after I gave her it. And hearing <laughs> that made me extremely happy. Can we, can you, <laughs> okay. All right. I'm just going to go through and hearing that made me extremely happy seeing that she never wanted to remove something I've given her. And she's never said that about the other necklace, which made this instance feel really special. So when I saw that she today, she removed it. I got a little bit upset because she just told me four days prior that she would never take it off. You want that shit straight up for four days? That's kind of crazy. I take my watch off when I go in the shower. Like, I feel like if I had a ring on too, I feel like I'd take it's it off. It's just a shower. sentence. Yeah. It's not, yeah, it's not real. So I asked her why she wasn't wearing it, and I expressed to her that I was just a little bit upset and told her the reason why, the reason previously mentioned. And that caused her to get super defensive. She couldn't even fathom why I would even be remotely upset. She also went on to say that she wished she never said it in the first place if she knew I'd be hurt if she wanted to wear something else. And she said I was taking things she's saying too literally. Isn't no. 
Is it even wrong to take that literally? Why even say you're never going to take it off if you don't actually mean it? Bro, it's you might be phrase. autistic. Yeah, yeah this, this really isn't. Is this, is this, this on is a not the devil? Typical. Yeah, it is. This is really a devil. It's, it's just, not super bad. It's yeah. just like you don't. You misunderstood her. <laughs> oh, man. I, We're I, getting I, into the dregs of Am I the Devil. Okay, all right. Sometimes okay. they post ones that are not really. It's just people being like, okay, Fuck all right. This thing in particular because they have. Some, I hate autistic people. Some personal thing. Don't clip that, everybody. <laughs> Dude, a clip of you really just shouting that, which Fucking I'm not going to say because you can't clip me then. Uh, all right, well. Now we're not talking. She seems to be very upset with me and angry that I was upset at all. I love my girlfriend, but the situation is just really confusing me. Am I in the wrong here for asking such a question and being even remotely upset? I think, yeah. I, I get it, but I, don't, I wouldn't call you an ass. I mean, I think it's just a little immature, I feel like. Yeah, you're just immature, yeah. Yeah. I feel like, yeah, that's such a... Why is that on my eye of the devil? Because, you know. <laughs> people are saying that the over-literalness of it is is what is annoying about it. But, like... It's not so bad. It's not the worst thing. I've seen I just worse think thing. the guy is, like, kind of autistic. A, a little bit, bit, yeah. There's something, yeah. Maybe you're thinking, not. Who knows? I don't know. But, like, yeah, there's a, there's definitely a misunderstanding. And there's yeah. a little bit of taking it too seriously. But, hey, not the... I guess I, you're kind of a little tiny asshole. Tiny asshole. I mean, yeah, because you didn't know. Yeah. You don't you know what that means. Too, yeah, so. Yeah, yeah she's going to take off a necklace. Insecure. You're it's just a little okay. insecure. It's okay. It's all right to be insecure. Yeah, it's fine. Yeah. Just talk She'll to her about again. it. again. Yeah. Yeah. Damn. It, it's, uh, the thing about it is, I don't know if he knows that he's doing it, but she probably feels like it's controlling. It is a little controlling, yeah. Sarah, I gave you a pair of socks like three weeks ago for working out, and you're still not wearing them. Can you ask? Can I ask why? That's kind of why, and also the feeling of like, put them on right now. Yeah, like the demanding to put it on. I, I guess. Like, yeah, it's why I kind of don't ask for clothes for Christmas mm. or like birthday. I don't like that. Those types it of seems gifts. Like yeah, because I have been in situations where like one time my mom got me boots, and she, you know. I opened it and I was like, wow, these boots are great. Yeah. And my mom was like, put them on, like in my pajamas. And I was like, I don't want to do that. And uh, my brothers were like, you, she should do it. <laughs> and I just hate being told what to do. You know what I mean? I, I understand that. Yeah. I, I wonder if this is a common problem because I feel like it is also kind of like a neurodivergent thing where I'm like being told what to do. I don't like it. I don't like being told what to do. I want to do the things that make yeah. me comfortable. But then it also does feel a little neurodivergent to be like, why don't you, why don't you, you said you'd work forever. Yeah. So I don't because know. Because it's taking yeah. everything literally. I wonder literally. if this is like a common problem. This might be a common problem. I yeah. don't know. Tell us about it. If it's not and you're like, stop saying everything's autistic, tell us that too. Yeah. And I will. Autistic I will do this, that. autistic that. Why don't you autistic some bitches in your life? <laughs> <laughs> Did that be the quote? Oh, uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, Christ. Two weeks in a row just wrote as my face. Yeah. Would have been three weeks, I think. I think the one that we didn't push was also me. Damn. Oh, yeah, that's fine. I don't fucking put my, put my name in lights. Because you've been saying good shit. Thank you. Yeah. Because yeah. I, I have to prove myself to you guys. <laughs> fuckers. You fuckers. I think, I think the wave of Sarah is over and the wave of Josh is coming. It's coming, dude. Yeah. 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 Like a Fuck fucking yeah, no. like a fucking tsunami. It's fine. Take my crown. I've had a good time reigning over this podcast. It's coming. I'm fucking coming for y'all. <laughs> coming for the hot seat. Josh is going to throw me off the throat and I'm gonna be like, yeah. yay! I'm That's... gonna be like we <laughs> we fun time. Fun time. But yeah, okay. That was a good that was a good one though. I like yeah, that. Nice. That's nice short sweet. Yeah, nice short little I don't little think one. mine is nice short and sweet. <laughs> okay. I don't remember. I don't remember the own stories I do. Oh, okay. I do. This one's kind of short. Nice. Okay, sweet. <clears throat> we got to go order a pizza. Our final story of the night comes to us from B. B. She, her. Am I the asshole for bad mouthing a job to a friend? Hi, guys. Love Hi. the podcast and long time listener. Side note, and apologies if this has been answered. I always wondered why the podcast is called APWSTR. Mm. It's because my parents got divorced and I was for sure the problem. I, 28, she, <laughs> 
So it means a podcast will save this relationship. And Josh thought it was funny because he said like, oh, you know, the phrase a baby will save this relationship. Yeah. The common phrase. And I phrase. was like, no. And he was like, well, let's do a podcast because it's like a podcast. Well, we're this we'll podcast this is our baby. Yeah. And uh, yeah, that's not a phrase. Yeah. It's a phrase everyone knows and loves. And it just sounds like a radio. The the the, the initials sound better. Yeah. yeah they sound, APWSTR. Yeah. And it's going to be a real pain in the ass to try and change the title of this, but still keep the initials well i mean i think it's apricot fine. pineapples wind worcester <laughs> shit to write <laughs> i think it's fine i think it's actually think good it's for fine. seo it, and everything and marketing yeah it's a very unique name yeah yeah i like it i'm like <laughs> shut the fuck up <laughs> yeah THT. it's just gonna be censoring it so you guys can you guys can guess which one i'm making fun of which of the seven reddit podcasts am i making good. fun of Except for like or whatever the one is, Reddit says. Reddit says. Put Reddit shit, in the name Reddit of your says. podcast. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Oh uh, yeah. SEO. Yeah. Uh, cheating your way up. Stupid name drama. Yeah. No wonder why no Reddit podcast will work with us. <laughs> Keep bothering them, guys. Keep, Keep doing it. Him. All right. We are the community of podcasts, so we have to <laughs> we have to claw our way up the Nielsen ratings. Indeed. I, 28, she, her, work in tech, and just before the pandemic, I started a new job with a company that sounded amazing, more flexible, and it had a chance for me to grow my career. Nice. I am career-focused, not a hustle culture douche, but I have worked hard and proud of it. I totally get that. That's There's good. a difference between hustle culture and being... You should yeah. work hard. Everyone should work hard. Yeah, for something that you're passionate about. Yeah. And not just for, like, money. If you want. Yeah, exactly. If you want to do it. I joined the company in December 2019. You can see where this is going. Yes, I do. Fast forward to mid-2020, everyone apart from me and two other people have been furloughed and expected to produce the same workflow. I found out as the only female consultant, I was being paid less than my male counterparts. Holy and that shit. was, quote, my fault because I didn't negotiate a higher rate and being forced to come in five days a week despite it being the height of COVID. In June and September, both my grandparents died. We were very close and I was in a bad way, in bad ways I couldn't even see them before they died due to strict COVID rules. <sighs> When asked for time off, I was told I could have the funeral and that it that it's and that's it. And quote, grandparents die. I was also called two days before payday and told I'm getting a 20% pay cut or else they would have to fire someone else as money was tight. This has resulted in me in having heightened anxiety, which I suffered with since early teens, panic attacks, and had to go to therapy. Two years ago I left that piece of shit company and am very happy. Now my friend has told me she has a new job, and when I asked her where, she told me it was the place and I told her everything. She is now saying I've put a damper on her new job and she feels anxious. I didn't mean to do that, but wanted to advise her to go anywhere else. Am I the asshole? I think it's it's valid to warn someone. I think it's also valid to be like, man, I was excited for that job. Yeah, I don't think anyone's shitty here. No, I don't think anyone is. I think it's good that you warned her, because otherwise, what? She's going to learn about it through experience? You want yeah. her to not learn it's about it It's good to it give a warning. Yeah, if, you're, if there's a trap in front of you, yeah. and like you're like, I really want to walk this path, and then Sarah was like, but there's a trap there's right a trap. there. Ah, but I wanted to walk this path. And it's up to them to make the choice, you know what yeah. I mean? Like, I've had people work at uh, I say this all the time. I always say like I've had, I've had blah blah blah. Yeah, but it's true. I don't know. Um, yeah. I I I used to work at a place call center, and then someone else worked at it, and I was like, oh, that place sucks. And they were like, well, I need money. And I'm like, okay, all right, do what you gotta do. Do it. Fuck it. I mean, yeah, at least you warned them. Yeah. Yeah. I think it's better. Yeah. I mean, it's it's, it's kind of like warn someone than not. Yeah, instead of being like, yo, that place is dope as shit, dude. Fucking, Fuck it, yo, you're gonna make so much money, You're gonna make so much money, it's tech. No tech company is bad. <laughs> Fucking. <laughs> <laughs> it's good to warn them. It's, it's also possible them. the company has changed. It is possible, and yeah, so, but it's good to warn them, and like, if they have a chance to like, see it. If it, if it gets shitty, it's the second that they get there, your friend gets there, and it's like. Okay, uh, now yeah, you see what they've warned me about. Now you warned me about. I'll look for I'm a gonna job. look for a new job, yeah. yeah. Because, I mean, they could choose to be like, all right, I'm going to look for a new job while I have this place. Yeah. And, like, worst comes to worst, I'm here for, like, three weeks if yeah. I'm lucky, you know? Yeah. I mean, I think, I guess I wouldn't, like, now that they've told you, hey, it sucks that you said that, I wouldn't continue to dunk on it. Yeah. Don't be like, fuck that place still. Yeah. Yeah, I don't you know. Them, you've done the thing. You the move the on. boundary's been set. Don't break it, you know? But I don't think either of you is shitty. I think it's just a... a you warned the them. The company is shitty. The company is shitty. Yeah. Capitalism. Capitalism. Capitalism is the, the real villain. Capitalism is everyone's problem, man. Yeah. 
Anyway, solved it. Solved it. That's our show. <laughs> See ya, bitches. See ya, fucker. No, wait. We got to do our plugs. Oh, fuck. How, me on how are we going to make these our careers if people can't go to our Twitters? Follow me on Twitter at that's so here in T-H-A-T-S-O-H-E-R-O-N. You can bother me all day, I guess, if you want. I'm also on Tumblr and TikTok by, and Instagram by those names as well. Josh, go. I'm Joshua Chinland on Twitter, <laughs> a guy named JC on Twitch. And that's really about it for my personal socials because I'm boring as fuck. <laughs> yeah. Joshua Chinland on Medium. I might post an article every now yeah, and then. Do that. I don't Why fucking not? know. Yeah. Oh, no. Uh, but a podcast will save this relationship on all podcast platforms APWSTR on TikTok, Twitter, uh, Patreon, and Buy Me a Coffee as well. A podcast will save this relationship. APWSTR Productions on YouTube. Mm hmm. And don't forget to raise five stars on all the podcasting apps, especially Apple. Leave us a review. You will read it. Yep. And uh, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and hit the gosh darn bell if you're watching on YouTube. Check out our Patreon for exclusive content, early releases, and ad-free releases, as well as access to our Discord. Yep. And thank you for watching. Thank you so much. And enjoy the rest of your day. Enjoy your day. Bye. Bye. All right, outro and intro. All right, outro, 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 outro. I'm waiting for the Bluey episode where the mom talks about having a miscarriage. Can't wait to see how they handle that. They actually do it pretty well. Okay, good. Nice. Can't wait for the Bluey episode where it's... Yeah? The dad is driving in the sun, in the, in Bluey's in the, not the son, because Bluey's a daughter. This would be this wouldn't be this is not self-insert right now. Can we do right the now. intro now? <laughs> no. <laughs>